Hey guys. Hi everyone. Oh. Hey Joanne. <laughs> Let's see how long the lag is. Right. Up oh, 12 Wait. seconds. Not bad. Not bad at all. iPad still waiting. Still waiting, but it's still running on the data plan too. So I didn't switch it over to uh, oh. the house internet yet. Uh, to the Wi Fi? Um, yeah. What do you call Because I wanted to see uh, if it changed anything. So in yeah. case you guys are wondering, I've made I've made some upgrades around here. So things are changing a little bit. Oh, that is sad, Jody. Very sad. I hope you're okay. Hey, Natalie and Kendall and Michelle. Let's see who else is here. Debbie Howard was here. Christine S. I don't know if they're still here. They were way, way early. <laughs> hey, Jean. Oh, Natalie's Hi, frame. Jean. That's Natalie O, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it is. I think we did this last time. I think it's Natalie. Oh, hey, Hi. Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Janine. <laughs> Janine and Jean. Natalie. Eileen. There she is. Hey, Eileen. Yep, it's Natalie O. Yes. Yep, yep, we got it. Hey, Tamar. Okay. Hi, Tamar. Oh my gosh. So what's How's everybody been up to? I want to know. I want to know these things. I'm so confused. No, you like watching on phone. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, she must be on her phone. Maybe she's at work and she doesn't have mm. too small of a screen. I bet. Gotcha. Hey, Beth Andrews. How are you? Hi, Beth. We are back. So um, I have a new laptop. Can you guys tell me if it looks any better, if it sounds any better? I'm going to go full screen for just a sec. So tell me if you guys see any differences. Hey, Glennis. Hey, Kim. So Hi, I'm really Kim. curious Hi, to see I what it looks you're like. like wicked. Wicked clear. Nice. Thank hey, you. Jody. I missed you guys. Hey, Karen. <clears throat> Does that mean I didn't grow? I think so. I'm going with yes, Jody. I'm going with yes. Yep. They're all saying clear. Nice. Yeah. Yay. Wow. <laughs> so... I got a new laptop. I didn't change anything else. Well, I upgraded some programs and stuff, but I got a new laptop. So my output is way, way faster. So Mags, I want to try a couple things before we get going. If you don't mind, would okay. you just type you on in... BIOS now too, though? What on BIOS would, are you on BIOS now? I don't remember. There's been so much. I kind of don't remember. Hey, Dodie. A huge difference if you're on right. BIOS. Yeah. My, I'm like on, <clears throat> there's been so much techie stuff the last week that yeah, I'm know. like brain fried. I'm just like, I'm just glad it's clear. Hey, I Dodie, missed you guys me. more, believe it or not. <laughs> Maggie has been wonderful, you guys. You have no idea. <laughs> you really have no idea. She's been pretty, pretty awesome. So, but anyway, Mags, if you would type in like a, a, just type in go. And when you guys see Maggie's go, if you would just type in me, just everybody type in me. I just want to see if it changes lags. Thanks, Kendall. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the tooth situation. I have to have it pulled. It's the back molar. That okay, was way sad. me now. Hi, Christine East. Look at it coming into StreamYard faster too, Mags. Well, StreamYard seems to be faster than... Um, Almost, right? StreamYard is faster for me than the YouTube. Nice. Good. Everybody's Good. showing up there first. Nice. Hi, hey, Bev. 
Very cool. Hey, Nancy Vance and Sandra. You guys are awesome. Christine East. Very cool. Yay, the gang's almost all here. Love it. Oh, so what do you guys think? Do you think it's faster? Do you guys not notice as much lag? What do you think? It'll be interesting once you start, you know, selling to see mm -hmm. if anybody says it's faster for them and they're getting, you know, what right. they normally can't get. Yeah. Hey, Elizabeth. Oh, and Elizabeth, I have all your stuff. I have the correct address. Your last order that we sent to the wrong address is back. So now I can consolidate everything. So you'll get um, all three in one order. I was going to message you that. And then I decided if you were here tonight, I would just say it right here. So. I think she's still traveling, isn't she? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, but yeah, she's really good about updating. I wasn't paying attention. She's really good about updating her invoice every time with the right address. So, Michelle, yep, so you're welcome. Really see, sorry. No, you're fine. Go ahead. <laughs> we don't really see lag until we don't get something we really wanted. <laughs> uh, well, I know, but it's like, I just didn't know if you guys could tell if you were seeing it pop in faster. But for Please. us, it was way faster. Like you guys were coming in like immediately. We didn't have that sitting <clears> in <throat> time. I didn't think we'd so. see Louise tonight. I thought she was on her way to Prince Edward Island. She is. Hey, Louise. Is. <laughs> Louise. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Susan. There's... Hi, Kathy. Hey, Susan. Yep. She, uh, she, uh, I think they are probably, can I tell them, Louise? I think they're unloading. Oh, she's, she's, they're already there? I she should be, yeah. Oh, I thought I thought it would take yep, a she's lot. There. I thought it would take hours. Yeah. No, it wasn't a yeah, horrible yeah. drive for them. Like I imagined it to be like across the country too, but it really wasn't. She said we we are here. Nice. Very nice. So ha. Huh. Gracious. She's in New Hampshire for the next two weeks. All right. I'll make sure I use that address. You got it, girly. Okay. Yeah, I knew she, I thought she was still up there, but I wasn't sure. And I need to note that too. Where's a sticky? Sitting in the truck while the truck is unpacked. Hi, Rhonda Lee. Hey, Rhonda. There we go. All righty. I got gotcha. you. That's dedication for you. Isn't it? <laughs> I told her no pen and paper allowed. No pen and paper right? allowed. She's just supposed to enjoy herself. Oh, my eye itches. I hate that. Whew, there we go. Okay. Ooh, I hear somebody bringing a bowl. And All right, well, he's bringing you your bowl. I'm going to ask Louise, is there any change in temperature from where you were, Louise? You is it milder it there? You can set it over there. I'll get it in a minute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're pretty awesome. I know. Hey, Jim. They already know. Maggie said hi. Hello, Maggie. <laughs> hey, Penny Pudge. How are you? <clears throat> hi, Penny. Oh. What do you make for you? Uh, mashed potatoes. That's like my staple. Oh, that's, yeah. It's my staple for now. For now. So, incomplete transparency. I'm also <laughs> really, really <laughs> multitasking tonight. Do you guys want to be part of the multitasking? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, and if I start yelling at her because she's not paying attention to me, you'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm, I have it already loaded, so all I have to do is click one thing, and you guys can be part of the action. So this is what I'm also doing. So see that chair right there? I really want that chair. <laughs> so I am multi. Oh, look, they're going to be turds about it. 
There we go. So yes, I'm I'm at the auction. So when I tell you guys I'm at the auction, this is kind of what I mean. I'm at the auction. <laughs> so <laughs> I have everything with my little watch. This would be blue, and it would say watching. So maybe I won't miss. And I'm just looking for stuff because um, I'm redoing the shop space downstairs, and that's going to be the new shipping area. So I need stuff. So there's a really cool table coming up that I want. Look at that couch. See, this is the kind of stuff I used to love. And this pie safe, that is so inexpensive for a pie safe right now. And I want this. Look at the baby buggy. Isn't that cute? Who just redid a baby buggy? Who what was that Chona? No. Was it Chona? Was it Chona? I feel like it was Chona that put it pictures out of them for a new grandbaby. <clears throat> but there's this one. I just think it's really sweet. I can just see like yarns and stuff like that. Oh, I better get back up here and check my chair. Over here, Gavin. Get off my chair, people. I want my chair. Oh my gosh, that would <laughs> be insane. Well, the dinging, you can turn off the dinging. Where's no, that? I don't even mean the dinging. I mean, how fast, like, you know, what you're just watching you. That would, I, uh, that would drive me crazy. See, I love it. I think it's super fun. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. This, this is where I'm like, oh, it makes me super duper happy. I like this too. This butcher block table. I think that's really cool, but I don't have any place to put that one. I got a set of shelves. Super happy about those. So, what do you guys think? Are you over the auction? Or do you want to hang out at the auction for a few minutes? <laughs> Lisa loves these kind of auctions. Been doing them I think all they're, year. Right? They're great <laughs> fun. I think they're great fun. And I try to do the ones that are local so I can go pick stuff up. Because then, well, I mean, obviously, I mean, this thing would be, like, ridiculous to have shipped. Hi, Sandra. She wants to know if they ship. They do. Well, not all of them do. Everyone is different. Um, let me They're get all different through. options, right? Oh, I yeah. If you guys really want to look at it, we can, we can play around on the site, and I can show you a few things. Um, <laughs> just let me get through my buggy and this. And we've got a few minutes. I'm not going to go after those dolls because they're more than I wanted to spend on them. Um, but yeah, let me get through that and the buggy. Lisa said oh, I only do God. local ones. Yeah, I only do. See, and I'm only going 25 on the buggy. So if they outbid me, they get the buggy. And this I really want. I have such a thing for filing cabinets. It's ridiculous. If you guys knew how many filing cabinets I have, you'd really wonder if there was something wrong with me for sure. What do you keep putting in there? My prices. Oh, a bit. Oh, yep. Okay. yep. See, and this is still way under for this with that butcher block on it. Even if it was just that slab, <clears throat> you would pay over $100 just for that slab. Typically, typically. See, but when, like when I was doing markets and traveling, I would have, I would, this, all of this, not this cedar pantry, but like this, 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 that, um, this one this piece, this piece, the pie safe for sure. I don't like that somebody painted it yellow, but I would just paint it a different color. I oh, look it. at them. And these with the glove boxes, the, the dressers with the glove boxes, oh man, those used to go for a ton. Looks like we're gonna get the chair. Just say closed. Nice. Go off the screen and say closed. <clears throat> Boom, we got the chair. Wow. Mm-hmm. So see, then you can open it up and you can look. 
see how deep it is and the paint's like not all the way back. What I, there it is. I wish they showed all the drawer, all the insides, but they don't. And there's a, and it looks pretty grubby. So I'm probably going to pass. I'm just going to leave it go because there's other ones coming up later that there's a table that I really want and I may have to spend up for the table. So I got the chair and I got my shelves and now I want my other table. So, um, are you guys okay looking around on here? I'm not even reading chat. I'm sorry. Yeah, this one is close to me. This one is only an hour drive. So I can drive to this one and get it. Hey, Took. Man, I've missed everybody. Sorry, guys. Yeah, wood is crazy, crazy expensive. You're right. Um, so, like, <clears throat> let's see. What do we want to search? Let's search, like, say... Um, let's look for calling cards. Now it'll just, now we're just on the main site and it'll just take you and you can see, it doesn't always pull things up. Like, see, it's pulling up all these cards, cars instead of cards. Did I spell it right? That's the other thing I always have to double check, make sure I spelled it correctly. Calling cards. Yep. Oh, and the other thing you want to do is watch watch here on your miles because that'll make a difference click anywhere that'll make a huge big difference but you'd have to go get it wouldn't you well no calling cards i would have shipped <clears throat> oh but you i just call each um they'll be labeled um i wish see right here where it says shipping available that's what you want to look for is shipping available so i was trying to find something um where it would pull that up let's see are we on my nope there it is so there's the buggy that i'm outbid on i want to see how far there's a table coming you guys will know why in a sec if it's there it is this one i love this table look oh, at that nice look at the size and of I'm, that Right? Wouldn't that be a really nice shipping table to work on? Or even just like, just an, I just think it's a great work surface. I love that. And I like your pin. wants to know, what was that Toronto sale logo? Where, honey? Oh, the, you can get these in Canada. You can absolutely get these in Canada. Just, just type in highbid.com. So all you have to do, and then you can search locally by your zip code. See right here, you can put your zip code in and you can set the parameter, how far you want to drive right there. So it makes it totally customizable. Like, see, look here, this dent, this dental cabinet, they're up to $550 on that. That's, wow. but that's pretty amazing. That's a really amazing piece right there. But I love this. Oh, I lost my keyboard. Sorry. Wandering around like I'm lost over here because I kind of am. <laughs> I kind of am. But like a sheet of plywood, good plywood is like $55 here. We looked four by eight sheet. So it would cost me at least that. And then I would still have to buy the legs and the trim if I were to make it on my own. This is, I mean, this is like a no brainer. And this, I have another crazy plan for, so no judging. <laughs> I just want the metal. <laughs> I took. Hey, Took, I don't know if I said hi to you already or not. Are you guys over the auctioning? Because I can take it off your guys' screen and I can just play around with it over here. Well, it'd be pretty hard to show them what you have. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's my table. This is the one. As soon as I get past this table, I'll be back more with you guys than at the auction. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, see, and I don't want to go. I didn't, they're kind of right where I wanted to be with it. 
but it's just cool. I like that it's on casters. And then this wood is all, um, see how it's all little pieces. It's almost like hardwood flooring. It makes me think of what they make um, semi-trailer floors out of is what I'm wondering if that is. But see the size of it? It's a monster. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm probably going to pass on that one. The, um, this place does um, like three auction days. It'll be today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. And then I can pick everything up at one time on Friday. So um, there's a couple other tables that I'm looking at. One is like a, the all stainless steel restaurant tables. Oh, those like they are have nice. A, yeah. So instead of <clears throat> overpaying or paying up on this one, I think I'm going to wait for the restaurant one. If I'm going to pay up for one, I think I want the stainless one instead. Yeah, one more time and then we're out on that one. Now if they overbid me, they get to have it. So it'll just be a surprise. I figured I'd go the, the price of the plywood and the work is done. <laughs> I was gonna say, Jim could make you one of those tables. Yeah. Seeing if I had room, look at this, you guys. Look at this drafting table. How cool is this one? Thing is enormous. I love the base on it. <clears throat> that nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. I don't have anywhere to put it though. So it's like, oh well. Oh well. And see, the nice thing is he always has cool stuff. Always. Like he's never had an this one I used to go to every single Wednesday night. Like the stuff he does in three days, he would do in one night. He'd have four or five auctioneers. So you had to like run all the time. Um but I used to go every single Wednesday night to his auctions and always found, oh, look at this hat box. Wowza, I knew it was gonna go high. Look at this thing, you guys. Wow, how much did that go for? Right now it's at $45. Why, what's? Cause it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> look at it. I just think it's amazing. I don't, I, I'm struggling with if it's made to look vintage or if it really is authentically vintage. I'm just not 100% convinced that it's authentic. Hi, Pam. You see, see, you can zoom in on them. But the hinge doesn't look like super brand new hardware, but I'm just, I'm not sure. Just not sure. And see this almost, but the leather looks pretty old and worn. So I'm just kind of iffy and I'm not willing to spend that and then find out that it's a repop. I would be really not happy. Lisa has a question for you. I don't know how to pronounce. Lisa, Patty, do you ever, oh, to ship Shawana. Um, I've only ever been once and it was a really long time ago and it had gotten so commercial that I was irritated. I do want to try to make it up there um, the summer before it gets crazy hot. So look, they're about to get my table. They're getting a good price on it, but it's all right. It's all right. So do you go to Ship Shawana, Lisa? Who goes to Ship Shawana? Oh, we could meet at Ship Shawana. Who goes there? Who Lisa, all goes well, there? Well, I mean, Lisa's asked the question. Yep. <clears throat> so are you guys over the auction? I think I'm good for a little while. I don't even remember what else I had. I don't even remember. Let's see. Oh, there was medicine bottles, a cutter, a cabinet. This is really cute. This this Bible, this bulletproof uh, pocket Bible, um, it's in brass. My daughter collects these, so I'm always looking those for her. I thought these would be really cool for cutters. And look, they'll go up, but it's not closing for like three hours. That's the thing. It has so many listings, it takes forever. Kim, this Esther, I want. she's been there a few times. Nice. Hi, Beth. Nice. Hey, Beth. Hey, Leslie. 
So this I want for the shop floor. And this I'm thinking of for um, a different floor, a different room. And these I think I want to make shelves out of. It's just wood planks. <coughs> so okay, we'll have to see. <clears throat> we'll have to see. I'm just going to have it open in the background. If I catch them, I catch them. If I miss them, it's not the end of the world. I got the pieces I really, really had to have. <laughs> Good. Right? So we'll go back where we were. But, you know, for those of you that are um, doing reselling and stuff, this is also a really good resource. If you find stuff similar to what you have, like you can search your specific items and um, mark them, put them on your watch list. No antiques anymore. That's what I was thinking, Leslie. I wondered. Um, Put them on your watch list and that way you can just like watch and see what it goes for and it'll help you um, get a more universal pricing for your stuff too. I've used it for that, for stuff that I'm not familiar with. So there's always that option. So there's that. There's that. So does anybody here still or did they all leave to go find an auction to play at? <laughs> They're all here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you use Maxel. Oh, so that's another site. Oh, very cool. Max old. I wonder if I'll remember that. I'll probably forget. Where can I write that down? Where can I write that down? M A X soul. Max soul. Thanks, Jody. Oh, nice, Penny. Yes, be safe. Pay more attention to the driving laws. Hey, Debbie Howard. All righty. So, so let me get the screen to just there. There we go. See, I told you guys I've been doing some upgrades. Hey, Natalie Randall, how are you doing? Oh, nice, Jody. Nice. You still have me on there, though. Oh, well, you know. I didn't say that I'm any more clever. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of practice. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my gosh. So, I don't know what you guys want to look at. Do you guys just want to do show and tell? Do you want to just look at stuff? Do you want to shop? What do you guys want to do? Why don't you show them a couple things that you got? Well, here's a couple. Here's a couple. What do you guys think? Hey, Judy. Hi, Judy. I keep forgetting where I'm supposed to be looking. That's that's my struggle today. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So, yeah, these fabrics I did kind of want to show you guys and get some feedback on. All I have a whole huge, well, one entire tub full of yardage that I don't want to cut up and put into bundles until I check with you guys to see if anybody was interested in it as the whole yardage piece. So, hey, Lenny or Lori. Hey, Lori. See, I don't have my glasses on. I should just read the screen I can see. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Lori. Lori, Lori, I sent your invoice to the wrong Lori. So I need to correct yours. <clears throat> and then you will be good to go. We see you, Natalie O. We Wait, do I see you, Natalie. Up. Maybe maybe I missed something. Mm. That she said, I'm going to go up and look. Okay. Um, hey, Debbie. Oh, Patty, I have Patty. I haven't gotten an invoice for the spools. Do you know when you send it? Meaning the invoice. That's Deb. That's uh, Natalie. O. Natalie. O. Um, yours may have just not come through because I do remember invoicing you for sure. Um, I needed to talk to Lori and to, <clears throat> 
Lenny if she comes in. Otherwise, I think I'm okay. all I think I'm all caught up. But Lori's, I yeah, I just wanted to double check with you because I did send it to the wrong Lori. So, and I kind of expected her to come in tonight and say, "Hey, you know, you invoiced me and you shouldn't have," and I could say, "Yup, I'm a ding dong." No, what I well, what I just told you was Natalie O. Yep. Yep. Okay. I didn't know yep. if I had gotten the. Gotten <laughs> no, you didn't. You're good. Okay. There's Lenny. Hey, Lenny P. Hi, Lenny. And Natalie Randall wants to know if you've mailed her package yet. Natalie Randall. Um, I don't know. I can go look real quick. Hang tight. Nope, yours is still here. So I had a question for you, but I don't off and I didn't put a note in there. So I don't remember what it was. <clears throat> so if you're good with it being, sh oh, I know what it was, but I want to message you privately. I don't want to put that business out there. Um, I will message you privately. <clears throat> Hang on one second. I need to note that I'm going to message you. It just clicked what it was. Natalie R. Message. And Tuk Master. wants to know if you had a chance to check with the message she sent you. Um. Um. Oh, yes. I know what yours is. Yes, I just need to do it. You're absolutely right. I just need to do it. And you too. Check. And Debbie Howard says you need to PM me for that address. Yep, sure do. Debbie Howard needs address. There we go. See, sticky notes are important, you guys. For real. Um, Hold on. I don't know where I hid my phone. Oh, there it is. I know they're sticky, but they never stay stuck where I want them. So, a little bit of tape never hurt. And Kendall, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. I got my bulletin board going. Nice. I know, right? Oh, I love a sticky note, but I stick them on the front edge of my table. That way, I can't lose them. But the sticky won't, it's got a weird, like, I don't know. It's like it's varnish, but the varnish is gone, so it doesn't stick to the wood. So, okay. So, I am going to, what do you guys think? You want to look at fabric, or do you want to look at ledgers? You tell me. I picked up 40. Did you just go mute? I don't hear you. Patty? She went mute. Not, not she didn't hit mute, she's just no sound. <clears throat> How's that? There, not what happened. Um, I think I did bump it and mute myself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey Gigi. Oh Hi, my Lucy. goodness. Hi, Gigi. Hey Lucy. Um, I do feel better. I still have to have there's there's a lot of dental work in my future. A lot. Um, and I'm the biggest coward ever for the dentist, so there will be lots of fun dental stories coming. Um, I can't get this one taken care of till the 12th. So, you know, it is what it is until then. I'm very aware that it's there, but it's not excruciating. So, Hi, Shelby. I, hey, Shelby, I just have figured out the more talking I do, the more it hurts. So like on days when I'm on, 
I'll be quiet all day so I can save that muscle activity for when we're here. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So did anybody vote what we're doing? Are we looking at fabric or doing ledgers? Both. <laughs> Look at both. Jody. In Jody instantly knew no buttons, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it, you guys. Can't help it. Nobody likes the dentist. Ugh. I know. And I looked him right square in the face <laughs> the other day and said, I am the biggest grown coward you're ever going to have in this chair. And I said, it is all totally fear-based, just so that we're on the same page. It's not like the pain that scares me. It's just like... You know how I talk about control issues all the time? It, it's that. I had known. Yeah, yeah, because you can't see anything. <clears throat> but Louise and I were talking about it, and she had a lot of really good ideas. So I'm going to try them out and see if it helps. So, okay. So, so I it's think like ledgers, 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 fabric, fabric. Okay. So I think we'll do some ledgers. Um, I will be completely honest with you and the fabric's not going anywhere. You guys, there is literally a whole bin of it that I'm not cutting until you guys have had the opportunity to see it as a whole piece <clears throat> because some of it still has price tags on it from like when they bought it and they're so vintage. So it, I just don't want to cut them if somebody is interested in the whole piece for whatever the reason. These three, I am like so off center. One second, you guys. I'm really sorry, but you everything look, is like. You don't look it. There we go. On my table and it just like totally oh, throws me off. I was going to say it didn't really look it on screen. Okay, cool. So. Those are, these three are going to be as an offer up, each for its own specific reason. If I just want to know if you guys want to do these three first, and then all the other ones are flat price. There's 41 other ledgers, and I've got four price points for the other ones based on all different things. So... You guys have a lot of input tonight. So what will it be? <laughs> yeah, this one is absolutely amazing. These two are super, super cool. <laughs> they really are. This one... Oh, that one I think it is that you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes to anything. All right. We're going to start with this one because, because yeah. it's the most, it really, to me, this, it's, it's stellar. Absolutely stellar. Okay. So this one, let me find my handy dandy ruler. It's going to measure, and I'm just going to measure the, the board, is seven and three quarters and right at like 13 inches tall. It's not super thick. It's about an, in, or an inch. It's about a half an inch thick. This one, Maggie, is going to start at 85. Okay. And um, let's just try. What do you normally do? A two and a half minute? Yeah, you want to do three let's just yeah three. let's do three and if they're out then they can say they're out but um okay. and i'll show them most of it and then you can go ahead and start it or like if you feel there's a good place to start it go ahead and start it since we're putting extra time in okay and so you said 85 right yeah it's going to start at 85. so this one is blue paper can you guys see the blue this one's oh. a little faded but this is only the second one i've ever found with the blue that blue is amazing there now you can see it this is that blue paper again and it's a different shade of blue <laughs> than the tall narrow ones but it's blue and these the are lighting. from 
I'm sorry, Mags, what? Um, no, I'm interrupting you, but I'm just said, look at the writing. Isn't it amazing? It is. It really is. And 1852. Yes, oh. please. Yes, please. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. And it is from one of the men's club. I do. I think it's the Odd Fellows, but I'm not sure. But look at that. It's just, oh, so pretty. You could totally just, I mean, I don't know. I would be scanning the living daylights out of this, and then I would be using it. Like this one, you could get three different, like, ephemera pieces to put in the ledgers. Mm -hmm. Like, if you scanned this and printed it, and, oh, and then I would use the originals. That's what I, and it's so weird. You always think you're going to scan it and print it and use the scans. I don't. I scan them and then I feel like I've preserved them and then I just use them. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the writing. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. And it's all different. That's what I think between the blue paper, the age, all the writing is different. There's so many different styles of handwriting and the ink is different right Beth I just absolutely adore this then there's a few blanks which I think is nice and look at this I don't know whose handwriting that is but absolutely gorgeous it's like calligraphy yep just Hi, Mila Hey, Mila. It's just gorgeous. And on that blue paper, it just... Yes. Yeah. And see, like this ink, I don't know if it's coming across. It almost has a lavender color to it. Almost. It's yep. blue ink for sure. Yeah. Like this is black and then this has like a lavender shade to it. And then there's this. <clears throat> Do you want me to start it or you want to let me know when to start it? Whenever you're ready. Whenever okay. you feel like is a good place. And this paper is in really nice condition. I think you're going to be able to fold it. I think it'll take it. Like somebody needed a, a note paper, a giant spitball they needed. Hi, Renee. Hey, Renee. Mm. And see, like, here's a piece that's torn out. And the pages aren't numbered, and I didn't count them, of course. But the whole thing is before 1900. It's just absolutely beautiful. So. <laughs> Chuck said, quick, Lorna will be here soon, LOL. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just absolutely love this one and look, there's another corner but i knew if this one didn't hit the table tonight i would put it on my shelf and it would be here forever and it is the odd fellows you guys it's i o o f at the top like look all the way back here, look at this writing i know it just is the gift that keeps on giving. If writing is your jam. Yeah. Look at that. It's just. I would have pieces so of that in all my journals. I know, right? So pretty. Hi, Renea. Hey, Renea. Yeah, it's just really, really pretty. See, and it just doesn't end. And then you've got that pretty blue, like all the light ones, they're not as light as they're coming across when it's all the way down. You can totally read every bit of that. But it's almost lavender in color, mm -hmm. the ink. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And I love how the um, capital letters are like darker. So mm -hmm. Agreed. It's just amazing. 
couple more. And like here they did the roll call. They drew the chart to do the roll call. This one's 1882. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's just really awesome. Absolutely love it. Here's a 30 seconds. I don't think I need these anymore, so I'll stick those there. What? I was talking to Mason. He just came in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Natalie, <laughs> you sound like me now. Okay, let's see now. Go to my, I'm going to go from 30 seconds because I see more than one. Okay. 105. Okay, that's going to, <clears throat> excuse me, Gigi Hannah for $106. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Gigi. Um, just so they know, too, I, let me read it from 30 seconds. Sure. Renee Crawford said 103, took 105. Kendall said beauteous. Gigi's 106. Christine S. 106. Natalie, my writing is much like that. Not. Then my not. stop. After my stop was Renee Crawford 107 and took 110. Nice. So that's how the uh, lag is going, ladies. Okay. <clears throat> Laura's made you, Lorna made you a monster. <laughs> 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 it's a thing. I'm telling you, it's a thing. I get it. I totally get it. So we'll go to the next. We're just going to do these three offer ups. I feel like we'll just do those and get them out of my system. And then we'll just settle down with um, the flat price ones. So this one, the board, the cover board is eight inches wide and 14, 13 and a half to 14 tall and an inch thick. So here's the front cover. Look at that wear. Ooh. Isn't that nice? There's the back. Yeah, I love those covers. There's your spine, and it is totally split. Hey, Lorna. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Lorna Lou. So just so you know, it is, and it's attached right here just by a little bit. So by the time you get it, this may, oops, you can't see. This may finish coming apart. But it is already broken literally in two. So this one's an offer up, Mags. This one has yep. to start at 100. Okay. Yep. Um, and this one is, um, let me grab another one so I can show you guys what this is. I have an English version. So these are membership questions. So here's, here's the English version. And then here's the German version. So it's all printed in German and then written in German, which huh, I've never had one of these. And this is dated 1872. So the first page is blank. And then the second page is where the writing starts and they're dated um, 1872. So I'll hold it up so you can see it. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Look at that writing. Oh. So, yeah. And this one is full. All, all of it. So it's all the way through. And it's... Hey, Christina. Hey, Christina. And it's... um. This is, it, the pages are not numbered, so I don't know how many there are. And see, clearly there's a different paper content. Look at the color difference. 
And that's just the content of the paper. So this one just has so much going for it. And this, I mean, 1912, this page is dated. And it is like bright, bright white. It's crazy. See, and then you have the dark ones again. Oh, they're blank. I wonder if there's random blank ones. Interesting. Look, all of those are blank right there. So if you want nice. blank ones, you have them. That's so weird. Why would they skip all of those and then come back to these? And these are dated 1876. Hmm. I have, I got nothing, guys. I don't know. But these are dated 1876. See it? Yeah, look at that right now. But why would you skip? Now I'm curious. So these are 1900. These two are 1901. 1905, a couple pages later. 1906, 07. And what does it go back to the 1800s again? Yeah, it did. it Because then it oh. had all those blank pages and then it went back. <clears throat> Maybe it was rebound, Christina East says. I, You know, I would go with, it might have been. But that seems weird that it would have broken then. But still, at 19, 1919 is the last checking now to make, because I didn't look through the middle of it. I just checked the front and the back. And I knew there were a couple of blanks, but I didn't know there, I didn't realize there was that many. It's nice to have blanks, though. Yeah, so. it is. Yep. So, and then we go back to 1876 back here in the back again. Interesting. Yeah, I thought right, the whole so thing was... this one. Yep. I thought the whole thing was 1800s. But either way, it's still German. It's German handwriting. I think it's pretty amazing. And I like the blanks. And they're on different, so you're going to get all the, so if you scan the blanks, you're going to pick up the various <clears throat> color tones. So you're going to have the three, the three different color tones too, which is going to be really nice. I, like that. I just think it's really cool. It I is love very her. cool. I love her. She's back on high bid. I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. I would be too. I haven't even been paying attention. So probably my other table sold. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the one I really <laughs> want is the one I really, really want is tomorrow. But now that you mention it, I'm going to come over here and see if I, uh, I think it's all household stuff. And I didn't want any household stuff. Run over to my watch list and see what I missed. Oh, I haven't missed anything. How exciting is that? Yeah, the next thing I want is two hours and 55 minutes away. So we got time. It can just keep sitting, running back there in the background. So it's seven o'clock. Yeah, not till 10 o'clock. I'm good. I'm good. Seems like it's stuff I want. You should be. What? Did you have some of your dinner? No, I should do that too. Yes. My exciting mashed potatoes. I'm really not too sad about the mashed potatoes. I happen to really like mashed potatoes. I do too. I would it wouldn't bother me if that's all I could have for a while. Right. Just I'd be having adding some gravy to it. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I like mashed potatoes and butter. Not margarine, but butter. And I'm a happy no. girl. Oh no margarine. I haven't had margarine since I was a kid. I know, right? Ooh, 
Lorna, I, I want to say I feel really bad for you. It wasn't the thumbnail, though. I tried. I did try. I did my part. <laughs> That's going to Christina S. for $100. Awesome. Thank you very much, Christine. Congrats, Christina. You're Christine, going to. Not Christina, Christine. I said yep. Christine, right? I got it. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and Gigi, too. I think I've got to say congrats to Gigi. Hi, Becky. Nice. <laughs> is that purple? It is not as purple as it's coming across. It's, okay. it's like a very faded burgundy plum situation oh it's pretty though mm -hmm. that's pretty accurate color on Streamyard. i'm waiting for it to come up on my youtube yep and that's pretty accurate even yeah, that's on pretty. my ipad yeah that's pretty mm -hmm. accurate um it's really nice and it's i mean poor things had a life it's got a big bow in it I don't know. She's had a life. So let's see here. This one is eight and a quarter wide and 14, 14 tall. Here's what the cover says. Five Itemized and consolidated. Ooh. Yeah. So if anybody wants to do a larger size farm journal, I think this cover would be like Amazing. Um, Maggie, this one's going to start at 75, please. Okay. And let's see here. This one has, um, it's dated 1883 right inside the front cover. And then I don't want to take the pin out, but here's the title page of the um, account book. It's a farmer's account book. You can kind of see in there. I don't want to take the pin out every, every once in a while. It'll catch and snag just a little bit, but these are steel pins. These, these are kind of nice to have. They're the non rusty kind. So here's your index for all the things farm related. <laughs> this is a little notepad left behind with two. Yes. Two. Two sheets of notepad paper. Here's some mathing done on said notebook paper. Um, and so it's all broken down. So you've got your weed account, consolidated, itemized. And it kind of um, will give you a few for each one. And then somebody... Decided he needed to be there. I left all that stuff. And then this is like blotting paper in between them. But then you come up here to oats. And then there's more. Oats. So, so this is your consolidated. And then this is your itemized. And that's how you go through the whole thing. There's lots of notes. What? I was saying good night to Christine. Oh, okay. Good night, Christine. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, Diane. <laughs> so um, what I did notice and what I, if I'm remembering right, see, like these were blotters. See how they tore them to put them different places in the book um, and use them for notes too, I feel. I didn't remember seeing any crop stuff. So you've got the oats and then you go to rye. And again, with another big blotter and see where they actually used it for like notes and stuff. So then you've got the itemized for the oats. And then you've got barley. And then you've got the itemized. And then we come to corn and then itemized. Then this one is hay and seed account consolidated. And they've got all the different seeds that they would have used. And then you've got the itemized. And then you've got the hogs, and that's where they started a little bit of writing. Here you've got a note. Here's a little bit of itemized hogs. Then this one is cattle, and they only entered twice, 1883 and 1901. 
And then just a few entries for cattle again. Then here we've got the horse and mule. They have two entries. And then the itemized is blank. And then here we've got the produce and garden account. Pulled a piece of the blotter off. Here we've got the orchard and fruit account and the itemized and some schmutz. Here's the expenditure account consolidated and the itemized and there's a few entries here and a few more on this side. And then this is the indebtedness account consolidated. There's a few entries for 1918, both of them. Well, and this one is 1919. And then here's the itemized. There's a few entries, um, 1883, 1882, and 1883. Then here's a loose blotter. Here's the general account itemized. Then this thing is just cool. It's there's so many different. Here's for the keeping um, timekeeping for hired help. This is where they did the most. Wow. See, so yeah, all your writing is back here. This is cool. This is um, yearly recapitulation. And there it is again. And then you've got all of those. Another blotter. Here we had grafting wax, beeswax, resin, and tallow. This is um, a table for work. Like um, it's got all the states and then all the seeds. I'm not really. And then here's interest tables. If you need to charge seven percent, eight percent, six percent, the math is done. Here's um, the pricing. For wood, it's a wood table by the foot or by the cord. Here's more interest tables, 9 and 10%. This is calculating 26 days a month for the work table. Here's um, forms of notes, miscellaneous rules. Here's how to, like, they would fill out receipts, like a form for that. Um, here's receipts that they might want to keep. And then this is your brood animals, more brood animals, more brood animals. So they kept track mostly of employees and the brood animals. So there's that one. Nice. I just think it's, yeah, I just really like this one. There's a lot of different... And I kind of went back and forth between taking it apart and making packs out of it and leaving it whole. And I decided to offer it whole first. I just it's pretty nifty. Pretty darn nifty. Ooh, Jody's having a birthday next week. Nice. Very nice. Hey, Christina, I don't know if I said hi to you. I feel like I missed half of you. Probably did, right? Um, you might have missed a few. A few. You notice how she put the question mark after a few. <laughs> A few dozen maybe, Patty, but you know. There's a 30 seconds. Janine's here, or she was here, Lorna.
That's yep, going was. to Diane D for the $75. Awesome. Congrats, Thank Diane. You, <clears throat> Diane D, Tennessee Diane, right? Yes. Oh, okay. that's right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. All righty. These are all going, you guys ready? You guys okay sticking with, it does not like that word, fussy cutting. Um, with, so these are going to be flat priced and we'll stay with ledgers for a while. Everybody okay with that? Are we, are we? I so, think some of them are waiting for, um, uh, the ones that aren't, oh my God, I can't even think of my words. <laughs> oh, the flat price ones. Yeah. These are the flat price. Okay. You can't take two weeks off in a row anymore. I go brain dead. <laughs> well, join the club. I feel brand new too. <laughs> so these, mm. these that I'm going to show you right now are all going to be a flat price. These are going to be, um, these are going to be 75 each. So I'm going to lay them down and you guys can tell me if you think you want to look at them. These are the English version of the German one. Both of these are that these are all um before 19 i think the latest date in these was 1926 i think but we'll kind of look at them but i want to show them to you guys and you can tell me if you're interested some of these like this one starts um this one starts do, 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 do. I gotta find one I can read. 1920 or yeah, 1921 for this one. This one starts 1892. Look how dark that is. Oh, just love it. Then there's this one. There's this one. This one again is 1900. This one is so pretty. It's Look just shooting. Just yeah. the writing. Yep, exactly. Exactly. And then there's, and see, and these are thicker. They're bigger. Um, This one starts 1903. So these are all the earlier ones. This one starts, where is he here? 1913 is the date I see right there, 1910. So early 1900s for this one. And then this one is, well, I'm seeing weird. It's 1908 there, but then it's 1917 there. So we'll say early 1900s for this one. The first date I see on page three is 1906. So, but what I was thinking was I can, um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, there's nine of them. We could A, B them and I can show each one and that way we don't have to spend forever on them. That sounds good. No, these okay. all this all the same price. Yes. Yep. Okay. I sorted them out by price so that we um, we can spend as much or as little time as they want to on them. Was my thought. All right. And you said four price points, right? Yes. So you'll tell me when it changes. Yep. Hi, Annette. Hey, Annette. How are you? There we go. Okay, so this pile will be the A, this pile will be the B. <clears throat> and then that's pretty much how we'll work our way through them all. And then if we are still, if my jaw's holding out and you guys are still wanting to hang out, we can look at fabric yardage. I'm starting at the top, Jody, and going down. So the price, good question. I was going to tell you guys that. These are six, these are 75. The next stack is 65. And then I have, I'm check, I'm double checking. 
So it's 75, then 65, 55, and then I've got some that are 40. Thank you, Miss Jody. I would have totally forgotten that. So, yeah, that way if somebody needs to be, you know, in a certain price point, you can hang out and wait for those. Um, I'm not, do you mean narrower, Janine, or like, sh what do you mean by smaller? Because everybody has a different, I think I know what you mean, but I'm not sh certain. There aren't, I've got a couple that are narrower, but not like skinny. Um, and there's thinner ones, lightweight ones in the, um, there's two of them in here that are not heavy. And then there's a couple in the, I'm double checking myself. There's a couple in the $40 pile that are really going to be internationally friendly. Um, there's quite a few in that pile actually. Um, these are all a little bit bigger, but these are not the stupid, you know, 15 pound ledgers. These, these on average are going to be like between five and 10 pounds. Most of these tonight. <laughs> Not yet, Lorna. Well, actually, <clears throat> that's not true because I have a pretty cool giveaway that only is eligible to people who get ledgers. <laughs> so I'm going to do a giveaway for those of you that purchase ledgers. So, so there's that. So kind of yes and no. You know, it's not, not entirely, but kind of, sort of. <laughs> So, all right. Would you show so, A again? Lisa wants to know. Yep. I'm going to show each one, you guys, um, and measure them for you. So the red and black ones are all pretty much the same size. So it's eight. I'm going to do B first is eight and a quarter, and they're going to be about 14 inches tall. The thickness will vary on them, though. This one is three quarters of an inch thick. The A is seven and a quarter wide and I'm going to say 13 tall. Yep, 13 tall. And this one is thicker. This one is an inch and a quarter thick. So we'll look at A. Well, I'll just show you. So here's A. She's a little rough. There you go. Now you can see the whole thing. And here the, the cloth is coming loose from the spine. So it's got the green end papers. Um, a lot of the writing in this one, a lot of these have pencil writing in them, I noticed. This one has a lot of blank, if you're after blank. And then um, I think this was to keep track of dues is what this kind of looks like because it has a name and then it has all the dates. So I think this was probably um, their monthly or yearly dues. This is dated 1874. This one's dated 1907. So it's kind of alphabetical more than by the year. So I don't know what these big checks are for. I got nothing. So there's that one. But this one has a ton of blank in the back. Nice. Yeah. And it's nice paper. So see, like, these are all. So the writing back here is all on papers. But I just left them in because I try to give you guys the ephemera, too. I'm trying to get to the last handwritten page. Okay. So from 141 to 370. Sit. Oh, the last page has writing on it. Ha. Okay, so from 141 to 371 by the numbered page. And again, that writing that you're seeing, just so you don't think I've lost my mind, that's a loose piece of paper. These are all blank pages. So, so there's that one. There's the A. And then B is um, 1906. And again, written in the pencil. And I love how they pin things in. I just love the pins. And then you have the offset. This is page 167. It says 1922. But you've got pen, you've got pencil. 
got a couple of blanks and all different handwriting. Oh, nice. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> I knew this was going to be Maggie's night. Maggie is into the handwriting <laughs> like I am. I know. <laughs> So, but see, most of wants to know if you invoiced her for bank bag yet. Um, I did. Did you? I can send it again if you didn't get it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And don't ever hesitate to ask those questions when I'm live, you guys. It's so much faster. And it's, I feel like it's super efficient for both of us. So, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me at all. So we've got A or B mags. Okay. Okay, Michelle Rowe is getting A. Took you were right after Michelle. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, ladies. Marsha said, please resend. Okay, so B still available. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you guys. Do you guys want me to invoice for the ledgers tomorrow, or do you want to hang on to them till next week, and we'll go into regular... Invoicing cycle, it's entirely up to you guys. Okay, so A is going to, and these are not, by the way, you guys, these are not the ledgers I showed you um, a couple weeks ago when I found like 40 ledgers. This is a different one. So we'll be playing this game again. Um, this one is seven and a half wide by... 13 tall. This one is seven and a half wide by 13 tall. So here's the outside of A. Gigi says next week for me, LOL. <laughs> you got it. I'm good either way, you guys, whichever works for you guys. <coughs> here's A. It's dated on the front 1900 to 1906. The entire book block is separated, <laughs> but oh, look at that. Just, you're killing me. <laughs> I know. Just take a gander at that. I've got something really cool in your box. You just, you just know that you've been taken care of. How's that? Oh, I know. You always take care of me. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I was pretty happy. There's that page. See there? Look at that. It's just so pretty. I love it. It really this. is. Yeah. And this is just page after page. And yes, it's, you know, there are their men's club and it's minutes. But it, this is just 350, wait, 398 numbered pages. <laughs> Look at how grubby that is. <clears throat> nice. Look at that. Ah, I love that grunge in there. 398 numbered pages of handwriting. Of handwriting. Of handwriting. So then B starts with, let's see, 1909. And this one is, again, I think it's probably dues because you have um, the day of the month and then you've got names and then it's real like a dollar twenty five two fifty, I think it's people's dues or something along that line. But again, you've got all and you've got random, random ephemera pages in there. But all different handwriting, and it goes to what's the last year I see? Play nice now. And blanks. And I'm not going to remember because I literally just picked these up yesterday. 1934. So I'm not going to remember the nuances of every one of them for sure. So there's B. Wow. 
Yep. And then here's the back of B. I don't know if I showed that one all the way around. And again, this one is torn. So. Grunge. Yep. Lots of grunge. But yeah, I kind of had to get them all. She gave me such a great price for getting them all. And I was like, this will be fun because I can just flat price them and everybody can get one. Okay, Renea Crawford gets A. Renea C. A. I figured it was a pretty one. I'm not surprised at all. Not at all. So all right, B is you... still available. Okay. You need to start a B pile. Okay. So this A is going to measure, and this is oh. repair tape. Go ahead. Hold on. Chuck said she'll take B. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You got it. Okay. Come back, honey. <laughs> well done. Thank you for letting us know. This one is eight inches wide by 14 tall. It's going to measure three quarters of an inch thick. Here's your front. There's the lovely tape. There's the back. Did have a little bow in it. See it? Right there. You could have a good eye because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. This is the English version of the membership form. Oh, and these, yeah, this is 1901. I forget how far back it goes. Um, because these aren't dated. Mm. I did notice that these later ones. So 1903 is the last date that I see. This one goes pretty much in order. Actually, it looks like it's going all in order. And it starts, hold on, I may have just made a liar out of my, no, nine, 1891 is when wow. it starts. Yeah. So you've got, again, all the different handwritings because each person filled out their own. So this is the handwriting for each of these people, which I think is pretty cool. So that's the English version. And this is another one of the same thing. And then this one, this is actually like orange. Like this is the burgundy that we're used to. This is orange. Like on StreamYard for me, Mags, it's the right colors. Okay. And on my iPad, it is in YouTube, it is also the right colors. So um, this one is measuring just the board, is measuring eight by, I'm going to say 14. And it is an inch thick. So here's your front. There's your spine. Oops. And then there's your back. This one is dated on the cover 1921 to 1924. And it says it's from the Denver Lodge, but it's Denver, Indiana, just so that you guys know. So this again is the minutes for those meetings. So as the secretary changed through those years, so did the handwriting. And a lot of this is in pencil. And some months we had way more to say than others. <laughs> That's very cool. I really like this one. And see the different colors in the paper as I was flipping through. Did you guys notice how the papers change color? They change like tone. This is definitely like, see how tan that is? Wow. Yeah, so. So there's that one. Oh, Kendall was born in Indianapolis. Nice.
You were on your way to California. <laughs> I was born in Illinois and lived there until I was an adult. A is going to Mila. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. B for the available pile mags. B is still available. Okay. Okay. So this A is, the, oh, this is the other English one for the, um, the membership answers. Oh, nice. This one is 1905 and comes to, oh, well, that doesn't make any sense. Starts with 1883. The first one is 1883. And again, you've got the, every, every one of these is different handwriting because every one of them is different people. So there's that. I just think it's cool that you have each person's handwriting and their name right there. Right. I think that's pretty awesome. So that's that one. And these were the eight by 14. Mm -hmm. And then B is going to be seven by 12. And it is mm, five eighths of an inch thick. <laughs> and there's, I just left the stuff in them. This one starts with, I think it's, what is it? Hold on. I don't want to give you the wrong date. 18, 19, 19, 19, 1921 is when this one starts. And this one is, again, just pages and pages of handwriting. And it goes through 1923. So it's two years. So, and again, like I said, they're minute books, but it's pages and pages of handwriting. And we know it's not foul language because it's an in script. <laughs> oh, and here's the back. I forgot to show you the back of that one. There's the back of the B, and here's the back of A. There, the non glare version. You can't bear to tear them up. Oh my goodness, dismantle them. Oh, thanks, Bev. Did I lose you, Mags? Uh, no, I was, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm watch, <laughs> watching chat, I'm just waiting to see. <laughs> I figured it was that or she was answering a message. <laughs> no, and I, well, I, Lorna had asked me how my vision was. Oh, so my I, gosh. I answered her, but then I had to, you know, I wanted to quickly put those in. So, gotcha. I like, <laughs> did I miss anything? <laughs> I was looking at that. <laughs> All right, looks like those are still okay. available. All righty. You know what? I have to put the tags on the inside because otherwise, when they fall off, it's not a good thing. <clears throat> Okay. If you do the rewatch and you come and you ask for these later, if you can be as specific as possible for the um, still available ones, that cuts down as a, a lot on confusion too. Yeah, yeah, I've only been putting in ledges A or B. Yeah, yeah. They, if they really want them, they usually have the <laughs> idea of the year or the ledger cover color or something. Um, so this one is seven and a half wide by I'm going to say twelve and a half tall. And I don't know, seven eighths of an inch thick. Oh, here's the spine is really rough, really rough. There's the back. Like it just, it's really brittle. The spine is. This one is 19. Let's see, where do we start? This one starts 1892 and goes through 19. Oh, four, I want to say, oh, nine, 1909. 
And again, just pages and pages of handwriting. And this is really nice paper. This is that um, a little bit heavier than most. I think it's probably going to fold okay. So you're going to be okay. You pretty much doing what you want with this. But look at all those different. That's beautiful. Yeah, you can. You actually can see the variety better when you flip them a little faster than if you go too slow. But yep, that's what this one is, and this will be the first me if somebody wants it. Right. <clears throat> Just waiting for YouTube to... Yep, you're good. I am in no rush. If I you try to do rush... how many pages? Oh, this one? Um, Hang on one sec. Let me look. I don't know if these were numbered. Oh, they are. Um, dun, 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 dun. 240 numbered pages. See, see how brittle that one, the spine is just a mess on that one. Everything else is really sound. It's just that leather on the spine comes off super easy. Okay, that's sold. Okay. Now I have to see who, who got it. That's going to Annette G. Thanks, Annette. Took you were after Annette and Gigi, you were after Took, and then my sold. Two N's, two T's. All righty. Thanks, guys. Okay. So now we will go, and I'm just going to keep going by um, price point. So here's Ooh, you're welcome, Tuck. Here's the next stack. So these are the $65 ones, Max. Okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of these. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's a ledger situation. That's all I can right? say. Right? <laughs> it is. Now, I will say, A, these are mm. all heavier, way less friendly internationally. These are going to be pushing probably like that 10, 12 pound range for those. There's more like this for sure in the $40 price pile, there's a lot like this one. So all of these red ones are going to be the same, except for this one. Let me get this one up here. Okay, so I'm gonna do them in that order because this is the one that's the black and the red that is different than the rest. The rest of them are all really close to the same except the um the thickness which i'll measure for each one otherwise i'm only going to measure these black and red ones this one time um this one is we're gonna say eight and a quarter by 14. and this particular one is an inch and a half thick this one just the board is nine and a quarter by the 12 and three quarters of an inch thick. So here's the inside of, is it really upside down? No, it's not upside down. It really looked upside down for a minute. So you've got some um, memberships form, membership forms clipped in the front with the cool paper clip. And then this one starts, and the years are all over the place on these. This one starts 1930. And this one has so, so many extras. There's just extras everywhere. And this person liked to write. Like, there's tons of writing in this one. That and is lots cool. Of, 
Yeah. And lots and lots and lots of extra forms tucked Whoa. in everywhere. Yep. The super cool. I love these square paper clips. Absolutely love them. But see, there's more. There's just all kinds of stuff. So it started 1930. And, oh, and you've got some blank ones in the back of this one. These pages are not numbered. Where did it end? Right after. Okay. So you've got this many that are written on. And this many that are not. Nice. Okay. So there's, there's a nice amount. And this paper is, I don't know if you can hear. This is a nice heavy paper. If you score this, I think you're going to be able to fold this and you're going to be super happy with this paper. And then you've got all the writing up there. And the ephemera. And the ephemera. Good call, Mags. Look at you yeah, watching. That a lot. I yeah. Believe yes, it did. So this is, mm. I'm not sure what this is called. Does it have a, this is the members register and constitution. With officers term roll, secretary's weekly entry, the committee, the auditing committee's report, and the treasurer's receipt book. Sick and funeral benefit record. Six books combined in one. So, yeah. And they're separate. Like, here's the sick and benefit record. Evidently, they didn't do much for the sick and benefit because there's nothing in there. Here's the tre treasurer's receipt. This is where all the good stuff happens. 1936 is the date there. We'll just see kind of what dates we have. 1934, but lots and lots of handwriting. I And all the different pages. This one just is a really nice, I don't know. It almost feels like a variety pack to me. Wow. I just, Eileen I really, just got her order from you. And she said, can you tell me why I bought a box of 100 old paper clips, question mark, LOL. Well, because you're going to use them, silly girl. Those those might have been from Louise. Those are the ones from Louise. Yes, ma'am. They are the ones from Louise. Yep. So you get a nice assortment of blank pages because remember that whole back section was blank and then this one is blank. But nice. then you've got all the handwriting and all the grungy grubbiness, which... You guys know that does me in every time. All the grubby and the handwriting. So there's our A and our B. Okay. And you, you've got these for 65, right? Yes. Okay. I'm just waiting for YouTube. My YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, those are sold. Okay. Uh, Renea Crawford gets A, and Jody gets B. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Kathy, you were after Jody, and Lisa, you were after Kathy. Okay. Sticking a few of these stickers inside. Okay. So we'll see if I can see if I can sit. Okay. So this is the same size as the last one. I don't remember what it was. What was it? Eight and a quarter by 14. This one is an inch thick. This one is seven and a quarter by 12. And like three quarters, seven of an eighth inch thick. Here's your front, your spine, your back, and it's raggedy on the spine. Just so you know, here's your spine, and then there's the back. Wow. There's the back. There we go. Okay, so A, ooh, a blotter paper. You guys are lucky I didn't see that. I collect those of all the weird things to collect. So, dun, 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 dun. let's see. When does this one start? This one starts 1937. 
This one, the paper is really sound, really nice. Um, you're going to be able to totally, you could drive a truck over this paper, I feel like. Um, it's in just really good paper. You're going to be able to jelly print on top of this, run it through the printer, random letters. And I like the blank spaces. You've got the writing, but then you've got the blank. They're just, these are really nice. And these, you guys have seen me use these where I take them out and then turn them sideways and fold them in signatures. And I use them. These are good ones for um, if you want them to be the right way, folding them. Because I love how you them. do that. I have yeah. a couple of those. <laughs> for the different sizes. Ones. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's just a nice one. It's sturdy. It'll take it, you know? Yep. Because not all of them will handle that, but this one, this one's really nice. It's, and it's a lot of paper. I mean, that's a whole lot of paper. And these are never numbered. So it's like, it's just kind of a, kind of a guessing game. But I'm going to weigh, guess, and I'm guessing the weight on these. I should have weighed one and I never thought to. Um, see, like, look at all that. Run that through the printer. That'd be so pretty. Um, I'm going to guess this in that 10 to 12 weight range. All of these in A, I'm going to put in that weight range. And then B starts in 1925. This looks so much older than 1925. But look at this. It's, again, all handwriting. Here's some of the Oddfellow paperwork. And this goes through 1927, by the way. So it's really early, too. <clears throat> Look at all the different handwritings. Wow. Some, we spilled. So there's that one. And it's, I mean, she's loose. The cover is coming loose. It's not, the book block isn't totally let loose in the front, but pretty close. Just pretty much all that's keeping it together is that mole right there. So there's those two. Okay, that's in hopefully. Hey, Becky. Okay, I think they're, I have to read again, but I think they're both sold. Okay. Um, Renea Crawford would like B. <clears throat> okay. And Jody said B or A if B is gone. So okay. Jody would like A. You got it. Thank you, ladies. You got it. Okay. So this one has been wet. And you're going to see that reflected at the bottom of all. Well, I was going to say all, but most of the pages. It just depends on if there's some ink or if the lines from the um, paper ran. So some do, some don't. You can tell this paper is heavier. Again, really thick paper. This, I usually score these before I fold them because otherwise they tend to crack just because they're thick and especially because this has seen um, some moisture. It's not actively moldy or anything. Um, this is dated 1948. We've got some letters. See how they switched from steel pens. This one's rusted. So pages and pages and pages of handwriting. And this is a thicker one. This one I think is over an inch by, yeah, that one's an inch and a half thick. So there's the front cover. And like I said, no active mold, just sat in a puddle, evidently. There's your spine, there's the back. And it's weird how just, or it might've just dripped on the cover because 
most of the pages you don't you see a little bit here and like you'll then you'll see the transfer on the page in front of it but in the middle of the book there isn't anything then this one let's see this one's an inch and a quarter and this one starts 1937 and goes through 1941 and this <laughs> This paper is like the other paper. This, you can just fold this right out of the box. I would do anything I want to this. For those of you that do jelly printing, I think it could be really cool on one side of these. I'd run these through the printer, fold these both ways, you know, either this way or this way for the journals. This is just a really nice paper pad for me. That's how I view these because you, you, can, you can do anything you want to this paper. And there's a ton of it. Like Caroline literally. wants to know if you have any guess of what the shipping would be for one of those to Canada. Oh, shoot. Mm. I'm in the U.S. I can guess it within a dollar um, almost every single time into Canada. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> would they fit in a medium priority? Well, let's grab one and see. I don't remember how much it is now because I know the price went up, but if it fit in one of those, at least you'd know how much. Yeah. Because I'm pretty, I, anything over four, anything over four pounds is going to have to go priority anyways, correct? Correct. So I'm going to say... Yes, I'm fudging it by like a quarter of an inch ish. See where it's bowing right there. But if I can get it in, I can make it work. If I tip it from corner to corner coming across the top, I could make it work. So Janine, help me. I don't remember how much a medium is. Is it like $56 for a medium? So that's, I mean, that's a lot for one, but if you had two, two of them would fit in there for sure. Or if you want to wait and shop um, Thursday and Monday night, I mean, there's still all that room inside of there, like a lot of room. I don't do too many medium or large flat rates because most of the international girls shop a couple weeks at a time or, you know, three to four weeks at a time. And then I pack up one big box for them that can be anywhere from 30 to 40 pounds. Sometimes it's a little less. Um, and it, you get way more for your shipping dollar. Way more. So if you want to get one and we can look into it and if you decide you want to ship each week, we can do that or I can combine orders for you. And when you fill the box, then I just... Um, go to pirate ship and get this shipping quote and send you that. So it's kind of whatever works best for you guys. Sometimes I know how it is. You get stuff and you want it like right away. You don't want to wait and other stuff. You're like, yeah, I like it, but I don't mind waiting. So <clears throat> all kind of like that. Oh, did you show both of them? I did not. I, okay, I don't think so. I, okay, I don't I think so yet. And if I did, I totally sidetracked myself, so it's okay. So B starts with 1938 and goes through 1941. And this is the one with the amazing paper, all the different handwritings, got some nice blank spots. So that's, we went oh, through wow. that one. Yeah, and then this one is the one that had the water damage. Right. And therefore the ink running and You froze. Hi, Linda. Okay, she froze. So let's see. I think Lisa there I'm yeah I'm not even going to I'm not going to I was going to guess but 
Patty's the expert at, at that. I was going to say some of the pages, depending on the year, might, but it might just depend on the whole um, ledger. So um, I'd wait till ask Patty. Okay, we lost her, but let's see if she comes back quick. <clears throat> so how's everybody doing? I'm not eating anything right now, Becky. Um, but those are little um, peanut butter cups. <laughs> One of my favorites. They're in my my candy dish that my daughter gave me for for uh, when was that? Oh, I it was Valentine's Day. It's I love peanut butter cups. You fell asleep, Tuck. <laughs> Painting vintage clothespins for a rack. Nice, Beth. <clears throat> okay, Patty's restarting. So it shouldn't take her long. I think we'll be okay. So how was everybody's weekend? Anybody do anything exciting? Cutting out packaging for the rubber stamps. You're going to be doing that for a while, Lorna, I feel. And you made stamps. Yes, you did. <laughs> I went and visited my... Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome, Becky. Christina went to Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in like a year and a half, maybe more. Oh, Sandra bought a new car. When you get ready, I want to. Okay, Beth, if you're talking to Lorna. She does have one in her Etsy shop now. Or at my extra special. <laughs> Kathy worked all weekend. Uh, I did some crafting, but not as much as I was hoping to. What's your next design going to be, Lorna? Do you know? Okay, I think I'm here. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't know how long it, you know, it goes for before it would, like, stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, just be good. <laughs> um, do you think we could, it's been two hours we, we could do a quick commercial break yes because i did <laughs> <laughs> since i had to reset it anyway i, I have know, coffee I know. Going. yeah okay. yeah so absolutely okay i'll be back in a couple okay i'll be here so actually you know what you guys i am gonna go now that i'm back i'm gonna go ahead and mute too and, you know, use the girls' room since I made the coffee. I'll throw up a banner and we'll do a commercial intermission. And all you veterans know that if you have anything going on on your, your Etsy shops, your YouTubes, 
wherever. If you got something you need promoted, put it in there. Be patient. I'm not sure which mods we do or don't have. Um, if they don't have them, let us know when Mags and I get back. We'll go grab links and stuff for you guys and get them posted. Um, otherwise, just give me a, just a couple of quick minutes and then we'll be right back. Okay, so let me turn that banner off. Where is it? There it is. Okay, get back to the chat. Alrighty. <laughs> hey, Linda. <laughs> Okay, so nobody has any links they need posted? No? What's the copyright on these? Um, well, that's where it gets a little tricky with ledgers. It's the actual printed part of the ledger that would be copyright protected, not the handwriting. Um, and most of these don't come with copyright dates. So there's that. I feel like if they're dated before um, the 1924, they're out of copyright. Um, and I mean, I don't know. I don't know the legalities of if there is no copyright posted in them, are they automatically out of copyright? I don't know. Oh, Kathy's streaming tomorrow. Awesome. 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 Hang up one second, Kathy. Let me go to the YouTube. Um, geez, Lou, you're not right in my search bar. Of course. There you are. There you are. Copy and come back. There we go. Do to do. Sorry, I was craving a coffee so bad. <laughs> you're good. I made one. Oh, you're welcome. No hey, problem. Kathy Berg. Um, so that's Kathy's YouTube link. I just popped in, you guys. Ooh, Penny's going live tomorrow. Let me go grab Penny. Hang on. Hang on. Penny, you should be in my search bar. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Of course not, because you're on my, you pop up for me. But there you are, you come up really quick. Really quick and easy. All righty, so now we'll put pennies in. 
Wait, where'd my stream yard go? There it is. Any, you need anybody else? Um, they're just kind of typing them right now. So if you see somebody else pop one in. Okay. Let's see. There we go. There's pennies. Oh, for Thursday. For Thursday. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Kathy, I was going to tell you when you go live, um, post your link in the group too. Just go to YouTube and grab it from, from YouTube and post your link in. And you too, Penny, like if you guys do it, like, I don't know, give us like a 20 minute warning, then most everybody sees it and then we can be there. <clears throat> okay. Michelle Rowe, I just saw your your post you got it oh you must be scrolling backwards i don't see michelle michelle Rowe. yeah she was talking to me oh pardon me <laughs> <laughs> that's the real maggie and patty you guys she was talking to me oh well pardon me <laughs> You talking to me? <laughs> That's the real us, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, Linda, go take a shower and use some oatmeal. Well, hi, Corky. What's up? We never know what's up. Hi, Corky. Random silliness. <laughs> and we're trying to work our way through, you know, 40 some ledgers. I'll post it in the Linda Lou. Are you going on for sure tomorrow, Linda? I'll go grab your link too. Hang tight. Let's grab Linda. Linda. I don't think she's doing a live. She's going to do a video. That's okay. If they have her link, they can go subscribe true. to her and then they'll this get is, the notice. This is true. Just ignore me. Ignore I'm not always very smart. I just have the curtain. I just have brighter moments. <laughs> <laughs> and then, huh, ignore the person behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. All right, there's Linda's channel. There we go. You got it. Le lasers and is it on, on YouTube, Christina? Is that where I'm going? Is on YouTube? Or do you have a website? Lasers and leather. There we go. Patty just did it, Linda. You can't you can't do it yourself. Only someone with a wrench can put a link into the chat. Christina, tell me if I'm looking for a dot com, honey. Or is it Etsy? Where am I going? Where am I looking for you? Well, geez, a little, Lorna, we can't post your link if you don't get the silly stamps in there. Just saying. Just saying. Mm. Yes, whatever that soap is, Jody just said. Etsy. Gotcha. Thank you, Jody. Etsy. 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 Let's hope it's all one word. Razors and leather oops it's i spelled Pat, leather yeah wrong. patrick is on etsy jody said i spelled leather wrong nope it's not coming up it's not pulling up if you don't have it typed exactly the way know, it is right? in etsy they will not bring it up hmm <laughs> It is not pulling up. Um, Christina, will you send it to me in Messenger? Just shoot me the link in Messenger. Then I can open it there and grab it. There we go. I've got Facebook up, so just uh, shoot it to me in Messenger. Etsy is a drama queen, like for real. It is. Now that That's it's getting dark, it's nuts because I see. <clears throat> you know, or somebody will message me, you know, check this Etsy store out, right? 
and I'll go and I'll type it in and I can't find it anywhere. Lori has told me like two or three names and every time I go to find it, I can't find it. So she has right. to tell me exactly how to type it in order to, to find it or send me the link. Oh, lasers, laser and leather craft. I try. All one word, but the, but the L's are the LLC is um, capital letter. <clears throat> I don't know where Lori is. Usually she is here. I know she had a roof leak or something and she had um, water every, everywhere. I don't think it was her house. I think it was their, their, um, uh, what is it? Got it. I think they have like an antique shopper or something like that. You guys are um, awesome. Thank you very much. Between Jody and Becky sending me link and Patrick sent me the link. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I like some teamwork. Christina she and had a Patrick. Very bad day. On Etsy. Here's their link. There we go. You guys are awesome. <laughs> it's all good. In case you guys hadn't figured out, tonight is just chill. It's just easygoing, super chill. I didn't want to come back and hit the ground running. I just wanted to hang out. <clears throat> Have fun. That's what I was after. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Lorna. Thanks. Did you get it listed yet? Hurry up and get it up so I can put your link in. Check is in the mail, Patty. LOL. Yeah, she's going to pay me for promoting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I tried to sweet talk her out of a sample one that she thought wasn't up to snuff. And I was like, well, I would play with it. Send it to me. I'll play with it. She didn't quite so, go for it. <coughs> so Lori, Lori was trying to um, soak up all the water from the, from the, um, from the damage from the roof leak uh -huh. and her towels weren't soaping it up. So she <clears throat> had a couple of old boxes of, um, Rita's Digest, and when those ran out, she started using her, <laughs> her son's old play books, Playboy <laughs> books. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I laughed so Hold much. on a minute, Lorna. I'm getting there. Patrick, will you check that link and make sure it was really yours? I'm doubting myself now. Hold on. Let me click and see what it says. Because I thought it pulled uh, laser and leather craft. Yeah, that's uh, what Patrick. They yep, it says Patrick. Okay, so that's so right. here's Lorna's Lorna's Etsy. There we go. We might as well get everybody in here. Why not? There's Lorna's Etsy, so you can find. <clears throat> I don't know why it posted it that way. That's so weird, but whatever. It's what it gave me. I don't know. Um, let's see. Is Took still here? I was Tooks. just going to say, um, let's see if I, oh, I know. I can find, do you want me to get it? I got her. Oh, okay. I was Boy, typing. Was as I, was, I was typing as I was talking. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, nope. See, that's a generic page too. Oh, because it auto-corrected me. That's why. It always wants to see it does it every single time. It changes it to book in mind. You might have to grab it, Megs. All right, I'll grab it. It just yeah, it just changes hers. Second. It'll just take me a minute. Okay, and it takes it always grabs hers that way. I always have to leave something of hers in my cart. I forgot. I can grab it from my um from my purchases and reviews it's showing okay. right there it is okay i got it to the canadian version ah geez a loo 
<laughs> what? It says I'm, oh my goodness. All right, here's. We're about to give all the words, people, all the words. And you have, to, you have to check it out. She's got the most beautiful Japanese kit. And she has um, like a, an add-on kit. And then she has a couple of other new ones. Oh, my gosh. They're beautiful. No, Patrick, it's you. <clears throat> yeah, I clicked it on and it said Patrick in the, you know, in the circle. I'll do it again, though. He said it looked like it was the Canadian version. I'm not going to doubt him because heaven only knows what I did. Oh, I don't think it matters, though, does it? Yeah. See, you guys, I told you, easy going. Just chill and easy going. How many mistakes can Patty make with the keyboard? You just wait and see. It could be lots. Debbie, you have to have a um, uh, a wrench. No, it's not that. She oh. said, could somebody subscribe to me? But I don't think she has an active channel. Who, Debbie Howard? Yeah. Y yeah, you just have to, Debbie, you just have to make a YouTube account. And then you can subscribe to people. Like, you can use YouTube without, like, creating an account. But you have to have an account to subscribe, I think. Or if there's a little red subscribe button, just click it. Um, Penny, I put the link up above and it says um, Tooks Etsy. It's a few posts above um, you. Yep. She's the one with the, uh, the Asian the kit. kit. Nice. Yeah, Japanese. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. I can't Yeah, I redid Patrick and Christina's. It should be the U.S. version now. I think, I think, why Jonas did it automatically just take the CA out of Patrick's? Yeah, well, I because it went to the Canadian, and I don't know why oh. it went to the Canadian. It didn't make any sense, but whatever. But I got it fixed. I got the right one now, I think. I'm not going to promise. Janine, I don't know. The, I don't remember the name of your um, <coughs> Etsy either. I can <clears> post <throat> it if you put your name in the chat. I will do it. <laughs> Just looking for your phone. And yeah, that's me most of the time these days. Looking for my phone. Oh, it's just J9 scraps. Oh, well. I couldn't have been really overcomplicated that much, could I? Is the S capitalized? No, capital, no capitals. Just J, the 9, and then scraps. Uh, nope. Corky, is this, is your YouTube name the same as your Etsy? I'll look you up if I, now I, I found, found it. You found Janine? Yep. It wanted capital letters. There we go. Oops. Janine's. I forgot to put her name. I just re, re I knew you guys. Janine's Etsy. There we go. Janine's Etsy. Speaking of Janine's Etsy, let me just tell you, there's Etsy some really cool stuff coming up, you guys. Okay. Let me check. D A Y. Days, days Mama. I like that. You're welcome, Janine. Oh my gosh, it came up. Okay. Intricate scraps. This is fun, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so work. here is Corky's. Jody said that has a CA for Canada, too. It should. Oh, Janine should. Janine oh, is. Oh, yeah, Janine should. Yeah, you're right. I had to stop She's and think Canada, about that. Jody. Yep. So this one is going to be for Glennis. Glennis, you got a cute shop. How come I've never seen your shop before? Glennis. Let's see. Chat. 
There we go. Glennis, you're in, girly. Now that my shop's in there, are we going back to ledgers? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Lorna, you absolutely kill me. <laughs> yes, bossy pants. It's all about you. Don't ever let anybody tell you any different either. <clears throat> Just saying. So, yeah, did we get everybody or does anybody else need a shot? I think let we me got know. everybody. Because we can put them all in. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Right. <laughs> I turned off one light. It seems less glarish. Trying to make sure none of my settings changed while I was. Ugh. It's going to be some tweaking. <sighs> All right, now I totally forget. Did we show these two or not? Yes, this is the water. This okay. is the one with the water damage. So this will be the third time for both of these. Because <laughs> <laughs> we doubted ourselves. And then my internet said, ha ha. So this one starts 1948. And it's the one that's an inch and a quarter. And it had the water damage front and back along the bottom. So it caused the bleeding and such. And then this one is the one from the 30s. Yes, it starts 1938. Has a lot of the blank pages. But this one is amazing paper. This is some of my favorite ledger paper if I'm just harvesting it for the paper and the writing. But mostly for the paper quality, these are my favorite ledger papers right here. The favorite weight and um, density of the paper. So there's A, there's B. These are, we're still on the $65 ones, Max. Right. Yep. No, Lenny, we haven't done fabric yet. We're still on ledgers. I'm just waiting for YouTube to catch up now. Yeah. Although I guess I could put it in. They've seen it three times. They have seen them three times now. <laughs> And I am going to ask about invoicing again here in a little bit. And um, I'm just going to make it real simple to decide if you want invoiced tomorrow for these or if you want to wait until next week. Because I'm good either way. So. Okay. Christina Hill gets B. Renee, you were just after Christina. And so A would be still available. Okie dokie. Okay. So, and these are the ones, again, you guys, all four of these sitting here are the, I couldn't remember the width. They're 8 by 14. 8 by 14. And B is going to be an inch and a half thick. A is an inch thick. A, is this the one? There's no... Maybe this one is predominantly blank. If you're seeing, see how much blank there is in between there's gaps and then there'll be a little bit of writing and then there's gaps, but the back, there's a lot of blank. I don't know what that is. It's a big section of, or maybe it's just this page that's blank. Cause I'm seeing writing on this side, but this, yeah, it's like this page is mostly blank in this one. <clears throat> and then there was several blank ones, several more blank ones, and then there's your writing. So, and this again is another one that I would harvest purely for the quality and the weight and the texture of the paper. I think this one says 40, 50, 1950 for this one. And it's slightly heavier than the last one. That's one page, and it's like thick enough you want to check and see if it's one, but it's still got nice bend, so it's not going to crack because um, the paper grain is going, you know, up to down instead of the other way. So this one's still going to fold really nicely. It's going to go through your printer amazingly. Printers love this stuff. It's really a nice one. And then this one, again, is the same. It's the same mm -hmm. thing. These are 
giant paper pads. But again, it's that nice heavyweight paper. This one is the um, mid 40s. This one's dated 1946. And you've got nice writing, different colors. Hi, Barbara. Some nice blank spaces. Hey, Barbara. That's a pretty one, too. They mm -hmm. both are. Yeah. So, and like I said earlier, you know, these are really nice, the taller ones, because you could get two ledger pages out of it if you wanted to, or you could go this way and fold it over. But yeah, if you're going to fold them this way to make them turnable, I usually score them. Just a real light score, like not even in my scoreboard, just kind of like with a ruler and then fold it up a little because um, I don't want a deep crease in it. But just to give it the if the since the fibers are running up and down, you know what I mean? You want to help them a little bit. That way they won't crack as easily. But this paper is pretty sound. And like if I was folding it this way, I wouldn't even score them. I would just fold it. So, but yeah, again, really nice paper to play with jelly prints, you know, all that kind of stuff. Either one of these. This one is heavier than this one. B is heavier than A. There, that's more clear. <clears throat> Try to pretend like I've done this before. Okay. Thank you for asking that, Lucy. Lucy, I was kind of wondering too. <laughs> I yeah. What is a pokey tool? What does it do? You know, you're so lucky. I'm being good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> potatoes and be quiet oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> um, Renee Crawford is taking A okay <laughs> thanks Renee Lisa wants to know if you have any older ledgers coming up there are some older ones. There's some that are newer, and then there's some older ones also. Okay. Can you say lonesome dove? Yep, lonesome dove. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> ah. Oh, nice, Christina. I want pictures <clears throat> when you have them ready. Hey, so Teresa. So just woke her up. <laughs> Good. It's about time. Hi, Teresa. Hey, Teresa. See, so did Jason, you answer me? <laughs> See there. All righty. So this one is for, this one is Rebecca. This was the um, auxiliary, the women's auxiliary for the um, Odd Fellows. <laughs> um, this one is right at an inch thick. Here's, this one has just, look at that, just enough wear on the corners. There's your spine. There's the back. And this is not active mold at all. It's not going to be hazardous to you. It's just very boiled bookish. And if you've been around a minute, you know these are my favorite things. Love a good boiled book. So this one, let's see, the date is 1912. There's some, there's a lot of blank space in this one. Lots of blank space. See it all? There's writing on most of the facing. There it is, facing pages. So you're going to have a nice blend of a little bit of writing, a little bit of blank. But um, like I said, 1912. For this one, well, that's the start, let's see, to 1914. So, and again, this is the, this is um, thinner, and it has a such a softer feel. You can feel the lines that were printed 
You know what I mean? It's just, this one is super, super tactile. It's so soft. It's really interesting. And you hear how it's got that almost like a crunch to it. It's really nice. This one would be really good for collage. would be really good for printing. I don't, I have mixed feelings about the folding of it. I don't know if it's going to crack. I feel like if you went at it gently, I think it would be okay folded. <clears throat> I would probably try. I, I know me. I would just try one and then I would try scoring it. Um, sometimes I put them on the edge of my table and fold them down. Like if this was the edge of the table, lay it out here and then just kind of instead of folding it all the way in half just to get a bend in it. So it just kind of depends. But um, if you wanted to cut the pages down, then, you know, you can use where they're already folded and they're going to be fine. They're going to be perfectly sturdy as turnable pages that way. So there's that one. Here's the front of this one. There's your spine. You talk about grubby town. There's the back. And this one is 1926. And this one is handwritten all the way through and all the extra ephemera bits. There's tons of nice. ephemera in this one. Tons. You're going to get all of it. <clears throat> Trying to get to the last page. 300 numbered pages. Here's one of the membership certificates. I love the headers on these. Just love that. So yeah, this one goes 1926 through 1932. And the paper quality on this one is pretty nice, too. Um, it's a, it's not as smooth as that last one. Mm. And you can't feel the printed lines. Um, I would fold this one all day. This mm. one's going to fold really nicely, actually. Hi, Deborah Day. Welcome. Hey, Deborah. So there's that one. And these are 50, or 55, 65 each also max. Nice. Yes. And then after these two, we're switching price points. <clears throat> Did you make us laugh, Lorna? <laughs> wow, my leg must have got worse. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, I think mine ahead. did too. <clears throat> okay, let's see. They all wanted B. I Lisa don't Smith gets it, though. All righty. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ladies. Hi, Cheryl. Oops. Come back here. Hey, Cheryl, how are you doing? Hey, hey still available. I've been wondering about you, but I didn't want to be a pest. How are you doing? How did it go? <laughs> Okay, let me move this stack and grab the other one. Oh, yeah. So, I think since I've got people I know waiting for the lower price point, I think we're going to skip to the $40 ones. Okay. And then if they want to see more, we can do the 55. Otherwise, we can hang okay. on to the $55 ones for another day. Because, you guys, I've been going just a little a little bit ledger crazy. But I've been a really, little? well, <laughs> well, you know, I've been really fortunate the last few weeks finding <laughs> ledgers. Um, we're not going to run out of ledgers anytime soon. Even if we went through all of these tonight and every one of them sold, we could do this at least two more times. So rest assured, they have been almost literally falling into my lap lately. So we're not running out of them anytime soon. And right, so I'm just going to be 40, right? Yes, these are going to be 40. I'm just going to be stockpiling them in the trailer and then we'll have plenty to play with all winter. And I'm trying to do, the only reason I decided to bring all of these tonight is because these are very similar to what I found um, last week. 
So it, it by meaning of um, what is builded, bo boiled, boiled Debbie, <laughs> boiled. <laughs> they they look like they've been boiled in a pot of water. That's what I call a boiled book. Um. But yeah, there's there's like this many more of like these men's ledgers with like these really cool covers and stuff. So we'll be doing them again. And I'm trying really hard to get a really nice assortment that we will have to play with um, for, you know, a few months. So I'm trying to get really stocked up ahead of us. <clears throat> so all that yakking, where do I go next? Oh, I should measure these. So these are all going to be roughly Hi, the same, roughly the same. Hey, Jackie D, how are you? This one is seven and a quarter wide by 12 inches tall and an inch thick. This one is seven inches wide, 12 inches tall. And mm, I'm going to call it like five eighths of an inch thick. And are these light? These are lighter, right? Or these not? are definitely lighter. Like this is a couple okay. pounds, like maybe three or four pounds for this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. These are all smaller and lighter, you know, um, priced accordingly. This one is coming loose in the front. From the well, the cover from the book block, let's put it that way. This one again is the Rebecca. This is the um aux the women's auxiliary. This one is dated 1946. There's lots of plain paper, and this is a lightweight, pulpy paper. I'm trying to think if that's exactly how I want to describe it. Um, it's almost like notebook weight paper, but softer, it's more fluid. It's a really nice paper. So there was all of those that were blank. So like, we'll say from page, we'll say 70, that's safe. Page 70, yep, all blank. So you're getting predominantly nice blank paper in this one through page 300. Numbered pages is blank. And so then your first numbered 70 pages will have writing on them. And the did I say the date? 1946 on that one. I love the cover. Then this one. So here's, this is the Rebecca. And this is just dust. That'll come out. <clears throat> and bear in mind, I just got these yesterday, so they have not had baths. So this one is dated 1933. And this is definitely like notebook paper and definitely has been wet. This is that look here. It. Yeah, that's, I like yeah. that. Yeah, if you like crunchy, crispy paper, this one is going to be your gig. What, it is uh, gonna make what do you call it? The Rebecca? Yeah, it's the women's auxiliary. Oh, okay. Yep. So this one has been wet. There is no active mold. I would never send you guys active mold. <laughs> that would be gross. Um, but yes, it has been wet. So if you think you're going to be sensitive, just avoid this one. But if you like that water damage and you want some already pre-vintage distressed paper to start with <clears throat> as a base layer, I love this stuff. I use it all the time. So if this one doesn't go, that doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Because these are just like a great paper pad for me. So we've got A or B. And you've got these for 40, right, Megs? Yes. Okay. I have such a habit of not vocalizing a change that I'm like, wait, I did tell her, right? <laughs> okay, those are sold. Okay. Let me just click on StreamYard. Okay, Took gets A. Okay. And Lorraine Phillips gets B. Hey, Lorraine. Awesome. Thanks, ladies. 
And just so you know, after my go, it was took Lorraine, then Janine, then took again, then Kathy, then Lori, and then my sold. Nice. Okay. So this these are gonna be, let's just check them quick. Let's just do it, Patty. So B measures seven by 12, and Carmine is chiming in from outside, and an inch thick. And A is going to measure seven and a quarter. I love this cover, by the way, by 12, and just over half an inch thick on A. So here's front. There's spine. There's the back. Cool. I like those. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So B, there's the front, there's the spine, there's the back. Hi, Second Chance Crafting. Is it Misty? I'm trying to. Oh, we went through this last time. I know. I know. I'm going to say Deborah, Deborah. I feel like it's a Deborah, Deborah. Deborah? Maybe. Maybe. Of course, anymore, I think everybody's a Deborah, Deborah, so who knows? So this one is 1934 in the back of the book. You've got some ephemera. I think this is the Rebecca's also. There's a lot of the auxiliary club. Robin. Robin, <laughs> darn it. Robin, Robin. J. I Hi, bet Robin. Robin J. I know who you are now. <laughs> now that I had the best hit in the world. So it starts with 1932. And you've got all the handwriting. And this paper oh, so pretty. is very much, um, this is a pulp-based paper, but it's in nice condition. Um, I'm going to call this one like a medium weight. And I think it's going to fold really nicely because it's not resisting at all. I think that one's going to fold really nicely, too. Really nice. Really, really nice. You could almost fold these up like letters. The way these are written, like, you know what I mean? They almost look like letters. You could fold these up yeah. and put them in as tucks and stuff, too. That one's really nice. Oh, I would. Right? And then this one is all indexed. Even though you can't oh, nice. see all the index, it's all there. It's been handled so much. This paper, you guys, is like glove soft. I do not know how else to explain this one. It has been, like, see the curl on the index? See how they all want to curl so much? This thing has been used like this so much, they all just took that curl. It's so soft, the paper it is, soft? Yes, it is like, I mean, I know that sounds really dumb, but it is so soft. Um, and the paper is nice. It's another one that's going to fold really easily. And this one has all the um, credit debit lines in it. Not lots of writing. You do have lots and lots of blank space. So if you want some cool stuff to run through the printer. And another nice thing is a lot of them are not written on on both sides. Like this one, this one is. But as I'm flipping through, I'm noticing, see like all the ones that are blank on, like over here. There's lots of blanks, which is nice. And it's going to be random because it's alphabetical. I don't know. And the years in this one were all over the place. I remember this one now. So I'm going to mm. say like uh, 1950 on. I saw a 1940 just then, but I'm going to stick with 1950. That's what I'm seeing most is 50 and 51 as beginning entries. So that's what we'll start with for that one. Okay. Come on, YouTube. Oh, don't ever feel stupid, Debbie. I forget all the names. That's why I come with a disclaimer in the very beginning. It takes me forever to remember a name. Yeah, don't ever feel bad for that. I'm the worst. Nope. Can't remember. I saw the paper clip. Okay, those are sold. <clears throat> Okay, let's see now. Hey, Jackie M. Hi, Jackie. Uh, Tamar gets B. 
got her. And Kathy B. He gets A. Kathy B. Got her. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Okay. So this one, this is a really thin one. But again, the board is seven and a quarter by the 12. Really, really thin, like three eighths of an inch. Um, but there's your back. Oops, in frame, Patty. There's the front. Mm -hmm. It is really, it's just nice. It's just nice. If you want some really nice handwriting, this Ooh. is nice. Yeah, it's just top to bottom, all different colors ink. It's just, it's really, it's just cute. And this one is um, the Rebecca Lodge also, which is the women's auxiliary. This one is dated for us, 1931 through 1937. It is an inch thick. So here's the front, there's the spine, there's the back. No, Tamar. And 1931 through 37, and it's just pages and pages and pages of writing, just writing from the women's auxiliary and all the wonderful things they did for the men's group <laughs> in, su in support of the men's group. But it is really pretty handwriting too. I do like it. And the paper's really nice in this one. It's going to fold up, fold up, fold yeah, nice. very nicely. So there's that one for you. <clears throat> Are you guys getting warm? It's warm here. It's stuffy warm tonight. There was a breeze all day and now the breeze died down. So I have a sweaty brow because I'm working hard. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sweaty brow. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> I don't either, but it's funny as heck. <laughs> it must be the Rebecca's rubbing off on me. <clears throat> okay, uh, Jackie Davis gets B. Jackie D got her. Okay, hi Lenny. Are you A because you want? A, or are you just A? <laughs> a, how you doing? Ooh, you can keep that nonsense, Barbara. I don't want no part of that stuff. Mm -mm. I've done 93 in Texas. It's not amusing at all. First she said B. <laughs> she said A. So if she wants A, then I'm just waiting to hear because I, I okay. think she wants it, but I'm not positive. And you wanted to know when Lenny, yeah, she, yeah, she wants A. And didn't you want to know when she came in? You had something to I do. Her. Lenny, could you do me a favor and shoot me a message in Messenger, please? I I don't know what I did. I do not know. But you seem to have disappeared out of my email and my square. So I need to reconnect with you. I know that we have. I know I had your stuff. So if you could just contact me in Facebook. I think you're in the Facebook group. If you could just shoot me a message in Messenger, then I can get myself all squared back away. And then by default, you too. <laughs> Says, Are you in? Oh, maybe she's not in the group. Because I think we have another Lenny also. Not Lenny, but a Lenny. I think there's two Lennies. Um, okay, she can do. Okay, cool. Perfect. Yep, I got you for A. And thank you very much. Perfect. I don't know if I was just spelling it wrong. I don't know what I did. But anyway, I'll get you squared up. Okay, so this A. All right, Debbie Howard. Pay attention, please. I'm going to explain the boiled book again. This one is seven by the 12. See how rough and rugged, and it looks like this thing got 
dropped in a pot of water. See here, this to me is almost a boiled book. See how discolored it is. Then you've got the spine situation and then all of that on the back. See all that? That's what would happen if this thing got dropped in a pot of water and then was just left to dry. These are boiled books to me. And justifiably so. This thing has been wet. If you want aged, and I know this isn't for everybody, so but some of the girls like them. If you want aged, crinkly, you can see. See the crinkle in it? Oh, you can see it better over here. So it's just the opposite on the other side. But it's handwritten and it has been wet, you guys. Make no mistake. This whole book has that been wet. Is cool. Yeah. It's it's you can see the water line in it. There is no active mold. Um, it's just I'm not gonna lie, I would let this air out a little bit. This one does smell a little musty. Not moldy, musty. But, you know, it's also from 1919. So, you know, it's 100 years old. So, and it's lots of handwriting. So there's that. If it appeals to you, cool. If not, I have no problem dismantling that one. This one, the other corner is up here. Hold on. This poor thing. She's been carrying the weight of the world on these shoulders. Look. They're slipping right off. Look at that. So, but the nice thing about this is if you want a template to make your own corners, rounded corners, there you have it. Um, this one is another one that has seen some moisture. See where everything is running. So again, if, if you are at all like super sensitive allergies, to musty stuff. This is not for you at all. But look at it. It's cool. I just love these. <clears throat> the, I absolutely love them. But I did, let's see, I did miss. This one, this is, I thought that was just ink smudge on this one. That's not. But I'll show you. I start with a baby wipe. And then I'll use a paper towel because this has already been so wet. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm not damaging it really. And I'm not trying to preserve it because that way I'm not letting the spores loose either. So if you find one, don't be afraid of them unless you're like deathly allergic, then disregard me. But see how it's going to curl because it's been so wet. That'll flatten back out when it dries. But I don't let it scare me. But um, then I'll just come back in with, um, I'll spray Clorox bleach, the one of the Clorox bleach cleaners. I'll spray that on a paper towel and keep wiping them. And there's a little bit here maybe, or is that what just, is it? it's um, mold spores. It is the spores, but I just grab them when they're wet so that I'm not letting them loose in the air. So I'm not all like, oh, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah. So there's that one. So just know that if you're at all sensitive, this is not the one for you. And then there's the back. I like the back of that one, too. So there's that one. But both of these are really musty. We'll go with that. We'll go with musty for the both of them. This one, you just saw me wipe some of it out of it. So enter at your own risk. And these, when I use them, I usually wind up sealing them. So once I clean them up and dry them out, I really don't care because I seal it in. Tomorrow would like be. Um, I am going to mark these as separate. I will package them separate for you guys. Okay. And Chuck would like a. Okay. <clears throat> now, have you heard of putting them in the freezer? 
Yeah, a lot of people do. And some people have really good luck with it. Um, <laughs> some people do it for to kill off the mold spores. Some people do it to get rid of musty smell. I don't see the value of putting it in a plastic bag to put it in the freezer to get rid of smell. I, that makes no sense to me. If you're just trying right. to kill off germs or an infestation or whatever, I'm not going to buy them if they're infested with something called creepy crawly. That's gross. Right. But for me, I've tried it a couple times. I don't want them in the freezer where my food is. Yeah, that's so that I'm more inclined to put the time <laughs> into I use Febreze on them, not gonna lie. I've been known to Febreze them and like stand them up. I if they're really musty, I stand them up like this. I put them in a tub and I'll even put charcoal briquettes right here where my fingers are. I'll put them in a tub and seal them up and I'll put them in with charcoal, just plain old cheap charcoal. And if the black gets on it, the black gets on it. I don't care, but it takes all the smell out. And I do that with ones that I'm keeping. Um, kitty litter works too. I've used kitty litter before. Right. I don't have. But it as can't much be the pellets. It has to be the the granular stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have as much luck with kitty litter. It just depends on um, how how strong the odor is. If it's super strong, I'm going straight for the charcoal. Um, cause it just, Did you I ever know try it, like, you know, once it's warm enough out of just letting it sit out in the sun for, you know, like a while bringing it in at night and it's usually too windy here. It'll tear them up. Oh, okay. Cause to do that, I feel like they've got to be open and you've got to be able to yeah. go out and move the pages around. <laughs> and it's that just so, yeah, it's horrible. just so windy here. Cause it's so, you know, pastures and everything. There's no like wind stops. So, um, I just go straight for the charcoal and put them in a, in a tub with a lid, just airtight them in, in with charcoal usually. Um, and if you don't want the charcoal to get on them, I've got a couple of like baking racks and I'll put a layer of charcoal in and then the baking racks and then lay these on top and I'll open them up like this. And I can usually get a few of them in there or I'll just stand them on there like that. Or sometimes I'll TP them this way because then at least it can still get in there and I can get quite a few of them across that way. So it just, just depends on how many I have. And I tend to save them until I've got enough to do a whole load. <laughs> so I've never tried smellies. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking, Lorna. I don't know that it would kill it anyway. So I'm just like, whatever. I just know that I don't want them in my freezer. If they're that moldy that I can't take the time to clean them up, then I don't want them. That's the way I look at it. So if, you know, if I'm willing to put the time into cleaning it up, then I'm okay with it. And it's never like, you know. Oh, Louise. Louise is still sitting in the car waiting to see the inside of her new house. Aw. She's a Lou. <clears throat> I'm going to get a move on it. So A is going to be seven and a half wide by 12 and a half tall and an inch thick and this one again oh wait a minute the front cover is handwritten there it is 1953 then there's the back i love that one isn't it pretty yeah and this again is um the rebecca mm -hmm. it's got different handwriting through you've got ink you've got pencil Again, these almost look like letters. But this is just, and they've just got nice, tiny, concise handwriting. Very, very nice. The paper quality in this one is awesome. Like, I really, really like this paper. It's got a nice, um, creamy, t almost tan shade to it. It's really nice. So there's that one. And then this one is totally, totally different. Schmutz everywhere. So it's 12 inches wide and nine inches tall. So these are your pegs. If you slide this that way, it lets loose of the pegs and it lifts straight up. 
This is not mold. <clears throat> just it was just from the storage, from the moisture, it has just transferred, but it doesn't rub off, so it's not mold. Well, just because it doesn't rub off doesn't mean it's not mold, but I'm just saying it's not rubbing off. Hold um, on. Um, Jordan, Lenny did not get the A from the last one. She did get one a couple. Wait a minute now. Hey, Jordan. So this one is yellow. And it has almost an orange print. <clears throat> almost orange. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? So, and Jordan, um, just, just so, and just for everybody, not just Jordan, but for everybody, <laughs> I know that we've got a few new people tonight. Um, we read the stream from StreamYard since it actually gathers everything and puts it in actual timestamp order. So what we're seeing in StreamYard is what you guys will see when the chat posts to YouTube. Um, the YouTube chat, you all are going to see it a little bit differently. So given that, I've just decided StreamYard is the most fair way to go. And Lenny so. did get an A, but it was a couple, one or two ledgers up. The one that was questioned when you were, <clears throat> excuse me, asking her about, um, you know, messaging you. Yep. Yep. Just yeah, and it's all good. <clears throat> it takes somebody new. Oh, see, look, see who missed the back. So this one, that's actually green. So this one, we're not going to sell tonight because now I want to go through it more. Once I see it green, that's actually green and fuzzy, and I don't want to fluff it around too much. No, don't see the, it. see the difference. Yeah. So this one I'll take outside, and this one I will clean outside, not up here, just so you guys know. And it's green here. So when you guys are looking at old stuff, don't forget to look <clears throat> everywhere. And sometimes you find it in the middle of the books. Okay. See, and see how it's coming through? There's some here. And now I'm seeing it here on the edges. So probably the last, I'm going to say, 15 or 20 pages of that one. Nope. Here's some more. So you just have to watch them. Once you see the, well, for me anyway, I'm not going to tell you guys what you got to do. But for me, once I see the green somewhere, I look through the whole thing. Once it's green and fuzzy. So pardon me one moment. Yeah, green and fuzzy, right? So I'm going to go set this one um, over on the step so I don't forget to take it downstairs. Okay, so I guess we just have the one left, Mags. It'll just be a first okay. meeting on this one. Yeah, I'm just waiting. I have yep. a terrible lag now. You haven't even taken it off the desk yet. You're just doing it now. You need to go out and come back <clears> in. <throat> All right, I'm going to put it in now. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's all right, Lori. It's all right. All right, that's all. And I mean, books being moldy and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of these are stored in basements in these huge halls, and nobody goes down there. It's not an unnorm. It's not unnatural. Unusual. It's not unusual. To find them like that, you know, you'll have a whole bunch of them that are perfectly fine, and then there'll be a couple that are covered. So, you know, you just you don't know till you start going through them. So don't ever like if you see a whole stack of them and you see it on one or two, don't quit looking at the rest of them because odds are there'll be lots of them that are fine. Right. Okay. The, hi, Sierra. That's going to Sierra McInerney. Hey, Sierra. Okay, 
And I mean, I know, you know, there's people out there going, oh my gosh, you didn't know that. Well, you know, I just got them yesterday and I have not gone through each and every single one of them top to bottom. So, I mean, it's going to happen. So, tis what it is. All right. So, do you guys want to see the other stack or are we ledgered out for the day? <laughs> I'm happy you got one too, Lenny. Hey, Esme. Hey, Esme. Ah, are we ledgered out? What do you guys think? Um, <clears throat> what do oh, you we're think? not going yet. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not leaving. Because we can we can shift to fabric. I have all that vintage fabric. Um that's yardage that I want to show you guys before I cut it up. So if you guys want to take a break from the ledgers, that's fine. Cause like I said, they're not going anywhere. It's kind of half and half, I think. Okay. Well, the girls that wanted fabric have been super patient. So I feel like we should yeah. look at fabric. We for could a while. do that. And then always go back to the ledgers, mm -hmm. and, you know, Mm-hmm. Because the next stack is 55, you guys, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hey, 7, Lori. 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 12 of them. So if we don't do them tonight, they will be here the very next time. So I can leave them stacked right where they are, as a matter of fact. So they're not going anywhere. But I am going to move some of these around and make room for fabric. Oh, I have one moment. I'm going to put some fabric up so they have something to look at, Max. Okay. And then I want to do the giveaway for the um, okay. ledger toppers. Yep. Okay. Um, Christina wants to know if you have any other light blue ledgers. Light blue. Um. <clears throat> You mean the outside, right? Not the paper. I do not have any more blue paper ledgers. Um, I do think there's some in the trailer that are going to be um, the blue covers, if that's what you're asking. I'm trying to remember exactly what's in there. I think there's a couple. Yeah, for sure. Thursday, Lenny will be will be on again on Thursday night. She okay. said outside, like the last one. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some in the trailer. There might be. I'm trying to look at that stack. There might be one in there, and it's a chubby one. It's not. It's probably like a 12 inch by like an inch and a half. It's a chubby one. Okay. So, these fabrics are, let's see here, am I folded? I'm trying to find right side, wrong side. All right, so this is one that has the original um, tag just pinned to it, <laughs> which I like. There's two and a half yards here. And here, here's your original color. Well, the right side color, I should say. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. I love this. It's <laughs> it's a nice sheer aqua. It's not showing up as sheer as it is, though. Let me see. What can I put under there? There. You can see my phone under it. So two and a half yards of this one. It's a uh, cotton. It's a nice lightweight cotton. And it's going to be, this is a wider one. Um, so the width on this one is going to be a 45. So this is 45 width. And I don't see, I was kind of looking at these to see about, um, in the salvage where they would put, you know, the manufacturer or brand or something. And I don't 
<clears throat> Don't see it on there. So. Do you want to do these one at a time? Well, that's my question to them. Do you guys want to do these um, flat price or do you want to do like real quick offer ups on them? <clears throat> if they go for offer ups, Mag, um, since your lag pushed out, do you want to um, go out and refresh and come back in? Yeah, I was going to say, oh. Okay, we'll, we'll wait and see what they want to we'll do. do that. Yeah, I just put it in flat price or offer up. Okay, cool. Thank you. Flat, flat, flat. Flat. Okay, so that's fine. We And we can totally okay. flat price them, that's fine. Um, and just so you guys know, they're all going to be the same price because <laughs> otherwise there's some of them I'm gonna price higher than others because I like them. So given that these are authentically vintage, some are antique because they are old enough to qualify for antique um, in that gray area of antique. Um, I'm going to do these for, um, they're going to all be $10 a yard. So if they're two and a half yards, they're going to be $25. Okay. Um, I went looking around to price vintage fabrics and they're ridiculous. So I just want to be fair. I'm going to get back what I need to get for them. So I think it works. And then you guys can decide from there. So this one, Maggie, for the two and a half yards then would be um, 25 if anybody wants the whole piece. Should I just put in for 25? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not that I'm not gonna cut them. You either either right. you do the okay. whole piece or I'm gonna yeah. And if they don't mm -hmm. go tonight, then anything that's left, I will um, be cutting and putting into bundles. Okay. But I wanted that's to sold. run these by you guys and give you a chance. That's all to uh, Christine uh, East. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So then there's this one. I absolutely love this. Oh, that's really this, pretty. Yeah. And this one I'm going to have to measure. Oh, look at the flowers on that. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's like the, the border. So here's right side. And then here's wrong side. So it's you guys were looking at wrong side. There's right side. See the difference in the greens? There's Miss Michelle. Hang what's tight, the, Michelle. Give me a minute. What's the um, color? color? It is this. I'm going to call it a peachy, corally pink. But it's more... More coral and peach than pink. And then this is like um, a sage. And then these are more like a mint. And then the darker is like a forest almost. And then these are like true topes. Or stone. And then you've got the little butterflies. But at the fold... So you've got that border print on both. So this is a salvage and this is your salvage. And then this is the center where it's folded. So then you've got the little, the little flower buds that come down to the border print. Mm -hmm. So I'll measure this one real quick. I think, see, and this is one that I'd be like, $9 million, please. One. So this one we're going to call a yard and a half. It's just like a couple inches more, but we're going to call it a yard and a half. Okay, so, the, so 15? 15. Yep. Yes, please. Okay. 
And this one's a nice cotton too. I don't know if I said that or not, but it's so nice, so pretty. Okay, that's old. Okay. To Jackie Davis. Jackie Davis. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, I forgot to do the giveaway. I totally sidetracked myself. Don't go anywhere, anybody who got a ledger. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's let Michelle in here. Are you ready, Michelle? Is she there? Do a thumbs up if you're there. <laughs> All right, you guys, here comes Michelle Rowe. Hang on to your hats. There she is. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me okay? How you doing? Okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, but hold on. I'm, hold on. I'm going to do some mic adjustments for you guys. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Um, all right, talk again, Michelle. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. There you go. I raised your mic up. And I'm going to push Maggie's back just a tiny bit. All right, I think, I think we're good. Everybody going, though. What? I think Michelle is might be echoing. Mm, I think it's one of her puppies playing with a toy. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. I, I he's got his little squeaky. Don't worry about it. it. It's not okay. No, now yeah, it's, it's fine. Good. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I took it away from him. Okay. Because I'm mean like that. <laughs> so, do you, hey, JJ. so you guys, you guys, you've been wanting to see this kid and talk to Michelle. She's here. I asked her to come on and explain it to us. So her and Maggie, I'm going to take. How do I get me off? Hold on. Trying to figure, I forgot. How do I make this to, to do, to do, hold on. There, there we go. There, and I'm gonna mute because otherwise I'll be the misinterruptus. Um, oh, I don't care if Maggie, I can interrupt. <laughs> I'll unmute if I got something to say. I can eat my potatoes too. Um, but Maggie and Michelle are gonna talk about and show you guys Michelle's kit, so. Take it away, ladies. All right. Okay. Um, I came up, well, Patty and I kind of brainstormed together and came up with an idea for a kit, and I just kind of went with it and um, decided to do one that was similar to one that Lori and Maggie had done maybe a couple months ago on their show. This is uh, a kit that has the cardboard pages and some paper pages as well. Um, Lori's was doing it a, as a ring bound, but this one's going to be not ring bound, probably done with some twine that I've got included in the kit. But so there's pre-cut four pieces of cardboard. It's about five by seven. I've got pre-distressed or I've got white gesso on these pages but there's five pages that have some muslin sewn on the one side that the hole will go on so that that will secure them and I have it will come with a little container of some clear gesso and white gesso which are labeled because they both look white before they dry. I've got included, this is a little baggie and I put these separately because I thought this would be a really cute way to, um, or easy way to dye these, whatever color you want to make. I'm sorry, my, my dog's going crazy. Um, he's about to kill a toy carrot. Um, but the idea is you could put, uh, a little bit of ink, dye, whatever you want into this bag and stain this to match what you want it to be in yours. So it's got a piece of, um, cheesecloth. This is the twine. It's kind of an off-white twine to bind it with and then another piece a strip of muslin that's off-white to use closure or, or however you want to use it 
but I, I put these in a bag separately so it'd be easy to just put some ink or dye in there and let it sit for a while and do that. But it's I like also shake and have bake. like shake and bake, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Only not as tasty. Um, I have a bunch of ephemera. Um, I'm wrapping part of it in this tracing paper, and the outside wrapping is going is like a masking paper. But I'm closing it using um, washi tape to close it all, so that it's all reusable. You know, you can use it in there. There'll be a glassine bag that has a nice assortment of ephemera. There's a little bit of burlap, some tickets. A little coin envelope, uh, three <laughs> library card things, a safety tag, an inventory tag, a couple of just plain tags here. I've got a square of uh, some of Tim Holtz tissue paper. I've got a nice section of some of Prima or Finibear's tissue paper. It's kind of vintage looking. Nice. I was wondering where you got that. This is the lace kit, um, Christina. Well, it's actually, it's for a book that on the cardboard pages you could wrap your laces in, right, Michelle? Yes. I'm I'm calling it kind of a lace base. And the whole idea I thought was everybody or most of us have spent a, a few dollars with Esme buying lace, myself <laughs> included. And, <laughs> and sometimes you just want to play with it without having to think about use all the it. other stuff to use it. And so I'm trying to, my, my idea was to try to come up with a base book that had everything you needed except for the lace so that you could just take your favorite color style of lace and appliques and trims and deck it out the way that you would like, but providing everything except for the lace that you might possibly need to do that. So, um, and because Lori and Maggie are the, you know, they're on Esme's design team and they're just experts in what they do. I've asked them that if they would teach that or show how they would assemble these on their show. And then I could provide kits for people to follow along with how they decide to do it. Um, and the way that yeah, I've done it, it is, you know, I figured Lori's going to be a little more grungy. Patty's, or <laughs> Maggie's going to be a little more, a little I'm less grungy, maybe. I'm getting my I'm getting my grunge okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you're right. Mine won't be, probably won't be as grungy as, as Lori's. There'll be some shabby chic in there. Yeah. Well, and so what I was thinking is I, I kind of covered one side of the cardboard with some white gesso, but you know how you can peel it off and show the corrugated part. I thought, you know, at least I would include enough white gesso to, you know, make it match however you wanted to. Um, once you got it how you wanted to, you could add or add what you want to that. Um there's, let me just finish with the ephemera and then I'll move on. Get out of your hair here, Patty. You're um, fine. Take your time. Piece. You're fine. Take your time. <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to be nervous, but. <laughs> little piece nervous. of uh, it's an old awesome kit. Wallpaper. A uh, piece of partially coffee dyed ledger paper not not the good kind the new kind <laughs> um, and then I had some a bunch of uh, scrapbooking paper that's like cardstock 
that was kind of a shabby chic color patterns that I got a couple of six by six pieces and some four by six just to kind of give you something to play with, make tags out of if you'd like, or, you know, just a little bit of pattern. I've got a, uh, at least a foot long piece of piano roll paper that you can use. And I've got a few buttons in there. But the piece that I like the best and that is so cool yeah, is this is a piece of a uh, quilt that either my grandmother or great grandmother made. And I had been using it. Um, the center part of the quilt has just a uh, pink thread in a cross stitch pattern. But it was getting to the point that the washing it, it was starting to to come apart. Some of the cross stitch and and I didn't didn't want to keep using it because I didn't want to have to wash it down to nothing. So I thought if I share a piece of her quilt with anybody who's you know interested in making this book, that would kind of put her quilt out there in the hands of people that would enjoy it. So I cut well, off and respect it. Right. It's like respectful preservation. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's, it's sentimental to me, but it doesn't do any good sitting, you yes. know, in the closet right. on a shelf. I wanted, I wanted to do more with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it's all but, hand stitch too. It's not machine. Stitch. Yeah. It's, it's big enough that you could, you know, cover either the cover with it or possibly over the spine, however you want to use it. But it's a nice, nice piece. And each piece does have the ruffle. Nice. Um, the other thing I'm including is a couple of little clips, uh, bulb pins. One has a, a little pearl dangle on it. The other one will have a random glass bead that I have made. It had a bunch of oh, little cool. teeny tiny ones that didn't have a place to go, didn't have a home. So nice. I, there, there'll be one of those included in each one. And I think... I'm so glad I claimed one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, originally had made a total of 30 kits, um, gave some to, you know, Lori and Maggie to, to make and show you how they do it. Um, and on their show, when I was, when we were showing it the first time, people started claiming them. Um, so I'm down to, I have 10 kits left out of the original amount. And they are $30 each, which includes shipping in the US. So um, we're, I wanted to try and get the last 10 reserved and get those shipped nice. out as soon as possible so that uh, so Maggie that and Lori don't, don't, yes, so they don't have to come up with another idea. Right. <laughs> Just just reading chat here for a second. Um, Jackie, hang on, hang on one second, and Maggie's gonna type in a go, just like we do for my stuff. So just watch for Maggie's go and she'll have it in there. And Lenny, it's gonna be a class slash craft with me, and it'll be on either Lori or Maggie's channel, or maybe both. Um took once to know can this ship. To yes, just know that you probably won't get it before the class took or the the craft with me session or whatever. Um, right. Just yeah, I well, but maybe, but maybe, honestly, maybe um, I might be able to pop yours out priority without a big price difference. And that would get it to you quicker. So we may be able to get yours to you in time took. So, hey, note yeah, spinner. I, I, I will ship internationally just 
not guaranteeing it will get there in time for the class. Right. But, yep. you know, okay. nobody, at least nobody I know gets their stuff done in the amount of time that Lori can get her items <laughs> made. So <laughs> chances are you're going to have to go back and, you know, watch it later or whatever. So, yeah, she said, that's okay. I can follow along later. Okay. okay. Yeah. And, and for anybody to, that's um, in her daddy first and, and it can go in her box that Patty has. Yeah. Right? And for anybody that's international that I'm already shipping to, if that's how you want it done, just let us know tonight at, you put your me in and claim it and then type in another message after and let us know that you want it shipped here to be added to your box. Mm -hmm. And we can totally do that. And I should have all the people, their names that have already requested it. So if you happen to okay. request it in case you're not sure, I'll, I'll let you know. Lori, I'm so betting money that that's not going to happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> Her idea of slow is not necessarily what we all think of as slow. <laughs> oh, yeah. We know better. I was thinking you could put put it do it over uh, two Tuesdays, but yeah, no, we we could totally do that if we need to. Well, yeah, we'll just get Lori talking. We'll tell her to you can only do one page, we'll and then you have to tell it, <laughs> and then she has to tell a twenty minute story, right? Then she can there do another go. page. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna wait a few seconds um, for lag, and then I'll uh, put it in. So, everybody. okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I was going to say bless you, and then I realized you were coughing, not sneezing. No, I'm, I'm coughing. Uh, we've got the yellow stuff going now. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't, Janine. Let me look. Oh, you do that, Mags. You, you keep up with the go situation. I'll go find the question. Okay. I did not see it. All right. Let me go to um, StreamYard. Okay. Uh, Jackie Davis. Oh, are you ready, Michelle? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was looking oh. at the questions in case. In case Patty couldn't find it, which I seem to not be able to do. <laughs> okay. Jackie Davis. Jackie, Jackie Davis, yeah. Christine East, Christine with a K. That's weird. Okay. Jody, Jody. Hi, Mitz. Did Mitzi okay. ask for one? Um, Cause she says me, she I don't. She did. Okay. Um, and I sent, I sent her a message, but it probably went to what spam or whatever that folder is for people you don't know sending you messages. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's already on your list. Just, yeah. I just need okay. you to. Contact me and uh, give me your, I've got Mitzi. you know, I've got Mitzi if you need her. Yeah, I've got Mitzi if you okay. need her. All right. Okay. And then, then there's Robin, second chance crafting. That's Robin. Janine, I do not see your question anywhere. I don't know if it didn't post. Okay. Okay. And then we have Took. Yeah. And if Mitzi, if you don't mind, I can give Michelle your info. All right. Let me, okay. that's, that's what I see for now, but let me go up and see if I can see her. Uh... Yeah. I looked in StreamYard mags. I don't see it anywhere. Christine, also, I'll, if you send me a your email for PayPal, I will send you an invoice for it. Or I'll get your information from Patty. <laughs> Which it looks like, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't see anything from Janine mm -hmm. either. If she wants to put it in again. Yeah, I went a full in. 10 minutes back in the timestamps and I don't even see it. 
Oh yeah, can you give um can you give her Tooks? Yep, can do. Okay. Michelle, if you want to make note of that, I'm gonna get um I'll have Tooks mm -hmm. and Mitzi's for you. Okay. And I think Tooks is in Christine in Canada, said so. and Robin said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk, Patty. We'll yep. talk. We'll be talking. Yeah, and can you give her Christine East too? She says that would be helpful. That is weird. I'm wondering if it's holding it. it Hold on, I'm looking at YouTube. I bet it's holding it for review, and we're not seeing it. No, I I just went way up, and it would you know, like be highlighted to, and said yeah, you. But no, I don't see it. Have you been cloned, Janine? Is this the real Janine? Oh, wait a minute. No, it, it, all I see is her. Maggie, did you see my question from Michelle? I know. That's all I'm seeing, too. That's really weird. There must be something in it, though, that... All right, Janine, new plan. Type in one word at a time to get the sentence out. Let's see. Let's see. There's always a workaround, Janelle. It doesn't like the word fussy, I know. <laughs> No, it does not. It holds that for review all the time. Thank you, Lisa. At least we know it's yeah, not Lisa just says us. It's not there either. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. That's weird, but you know, YouTube, the interweb, somebody's been a little weird lately anyway, so. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I would just like to get rid of the the drippage and the coughing that goes along with it. Um, Mich Michelle, what is your email? It's uh, my name backwards. So. Oh, that's right. E L E. Um, I'm sorry. E L E. No. Nope. -E. no. Start over. No. <laughs> Okay, go she ahead. forgot her last name. Yeah, <laughs> I got to do that too. E W O R E W O R E L E E L E H C I M C I M I M at, at gmail dot com. At gmail. Okay. Okay, there it is, Jody. <clears throat> She's there doing we go. it in French. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michelle with one L is kind of the French spelling of Michelle. Oh, yeah, that that's can. true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah pretend Lorna, like I don't think Lorna will be, Lorna sees it either, so... If you can send it to her in Messenger and then she can put it in. That is beyond weird. I know, right? Totally let just, beyond. Let me go back into StreamYard and I'll double check StreamYard. Okay, because she says, LOL, Jody. I see that. Weird. I just put it in again above. That's the next one. Oh, Christina, um, there are four of the cardboard pages and five of the, they're like Reader's Digest glued together. So they're thick. And then sewed on one edge, but there's five of those in each kit. So total of eight pages. You can always add more to, if you want. But. Nice. Jackie, um, Michelle will be sending you the invoice. So send, send her your information. I put the her address, her email address up above. Yep, I just need your PayPal email and your address. 
Okay, Laura, and if you guys will pieces. Yeah, if you guys have any trouble with emails or whatever, just reach out to Maggie or, or I, and we'll get you guys connected. Penny, Nobody stress out me. over it. Yeah, <laughs> nobody stress out over it. We'll get it worked out. Yeah, it'll be fun, I think. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great fun. I have a feeling, because Lorna just put in only quilt pieces. I wonder if Janine's trying to find out if she's selling any of the quilt, just the quilt pieces of the quilt. Now, I'm just guessing this. Janine, I do not see just my name. She said yes, yes. So that's um, what she wants to know if you if you're going to sell any of any of just the quilt pieces. I not not at this time. I cut from around the edge. It's a pretty big quilt, but I was <laughs> not quite ready to cut into it any more than that. I can't do it. It's very oh, I, weird. I don't blame. I'd have a hard time too. Yeah, this piece is just off white, but the uh, the center of the quilt has the the cross, cross stitch in pink thread. Right. Design. She said, "Okay, thank you." <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so as of right now, I have five left, and okay. I'll put. In I five will. So tomorrow night will be the last time chance for people to get them because I want to send them out, and then I don't want to make people wait too long to get to yeah, be able we to can do this. Them again tomorrow night. In case so tomorrow night on there. Lori and Maggie's, we'll see if anybody wants the last mm. few. And then I'll just send them all out. Nice. Very cool. Are you on, hey, Mags, are you guys on your channel or, or Lori's? Lori's channel uh, tomorrow night. Okay. Do you, I'll go grab her. Because you're kind of watching chat. I'll grab her. Do, 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 do. It's just on Facebook, Lenny. I'll get you have to belong to the Crafting Me Shop group. I'll I'll grab that for you. Thanks. Can All I, right. Kind of Here's what too, because I have so much lace that I don't know what to do with and I I want guidance. <laughs> So for anybody that's not familiar with Lori's channel, there's Lori's channel. Um, Lori and Maggie and a couple of the other girls are always listed over in my description too. So like under the picture where it says new shoppers, blah, blah, blah. And it says show more. If you click the show more, there's a whole bunch of information there. A bunch of links, all that kind of stuff. So the girls are always there too. And the link to Esme's Facebook group is there too. Yeah. Should you ever need it. Um, time with Esme's lace. You mean cutting it up, using it? Yeah, yeah she probably. I bet she doesn't have a hard time hoarding it. <clears throat> it's easy to hoard. I have no problem. Chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle ah. is posted in the group. Um, I do not. Them? Just because there wasn't that many left, I didn't want to. But you know what? For the five that remain, you could take. Yeah, a you could of, do that. Um, okay. Yeah, and yeah, and just put a price in there and say, "Contact me if you want one." All right. But we'll talk. That we'll cool. mention it tomorrow night too, where you want to get them, you know, sold and out there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Robin, I thought so. She can order all day and hoard it. I'm right there with you, girl. <laughs> promise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Jackie. You know, life is hard enough. It's just more fun to support each other. I 
I just think it's more fun. Yep. Support and encourage and, you know, just keeps, keeps things lively and fun. And, you know, you kind of build a support system for yourself too that way. So, you know, you get what so, you get. You got too much lace too. You could just make lace bags and sell them. Do what, Max? I said if she's got too, if she ha she said she has too much lace, she doesn't know what to do with it. I said she could always make ba lace bags and sell them. Mm, yeah. Well, yep. I'm not wanting. I'm not wanting to get rid of it. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted. <laughs> I, do well, I don't blame you. you. I wouldn't want to. another hoarder in the making. <laughs> there you go, Lorna. That a girl. <laughs> oh my Keep gosh, right, Lorna. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna hang out with us for a while, Michelle? Um, yeah, on mute. <laughs> Unless I have <laughs> something to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She cracks me up, you guys. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> okay, we got right. the fabric. Yep, we'll do a few more pieces and then we'll probably wrap up. My jaw's starting to hurt. This has been a lot oh, of yeah. talking. Okay. Yeah, I've been like, don't wait yeah, till it's Maggie like, and I haven't know, been getting in chat. I haven't been getting in chat with anybody because I'm trying really hard <laughs> not to talk. So, anywho, this no, one. She left me bored, bro over a week yeah she yeah i got scolded too <laughs> <laughs> not in a bad way just you know get it together <laughs> i know I, it was just a couple of hints i'm so bored <laughs> <laughs> so i think this is coming across the right color i think it's orange the background is like uh makes me think of orange sherbet the, the background color. Um, oh, yeah, I just figured out my lag. I was so not live on the iPad. <laughs> oh, you weren't? <laughs> no. So <laughs> there's oh, that. If you, my live button wasn't on. Mine Actually, either. That's weird. Yeah, mine either. Yep. So, anywho. <clears throat> so these are orange clovers. Can you? Yes, there you go. They're like. They look more like clovers than flowers to me, but whatever works for you. But they kind of look like clovers. They're very orange. The background okay. is like an orange sherbet. It's like the pe palest orange ever. And then all these little orange flowers. And this, again, is a real lightweight um, summer cotton. It's almost like a lawn, but not quite, but it's really, really lightweight. This would be such an amazing summer shirt. I can't even tell you. That's um, yeah, this one's a yard and three quarters. So that would be, um, 1750 for this one. Okay. Christine, she was here just a little while ago. I'm not sure if she still is. Oh, thank you, Jody. Yeah, and 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 don't go away because I we got to discuss one other thing. And she is here because she just said me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to JJ. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next one is Jennifer, I swear, Vintage Retro Fabrics, love you. There's a yard of this one. And again, really, do you remember, see how it's sticking? This is like that silk screen and it feels almost plasticky. Do you, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, the little frames. So I'm going to hold this up on the right side. And they're all folded right side in, which I absolutely love. A lot of people refold them the oh, other way. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't that cute? But this is that stuff that feels almost plasticky. And then the little daisies are the same way. But you see how sheer that is? Wait, yeah. now that I've got it up close, it's probably not going to show it. There. There. But that's how sheer that one is. But this is a cotton also. 
and there's one yard of this. So this one okay. will be 10. We are so going to have <laughs> a linen event soon. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's old. Okay. Um, I have to check. It's old to JJ. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. Then there's this one. I think this is so, so pretty. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. And this one, it's coming across more charcoal. These are all browns, like dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and then this like cocoa color in here, like hot oh, chocolate. It's on my screen. I know. It does on mine too. But it's all browns. They are now showing up. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I see. In the oh, leaves. That, that's so pretty. Yeah. The black part is actually mm. black. Just so you know. But those browns are the right colors. Mm. Isn't that pretty? And there's one yard of this. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, and this one is narrower. Um, This is not the 44. Hang on one second. This one is, this is going to be like a 35 salvage to salvage. So it's almost a square yard. So this one will be 10 mags. Okay, that's old. Okay. <laughs> See two Lorraine Phillips. Okie dokie. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. This one is a two yard piece. So this one will be 20. This is like a home deck, almost, um, almost twill, not quite, but it is, it's cotton again. Um, tears beautifully, just the tiniest little fray. Um, so, so nice. And this is a narrower one too. This is going to be that 35 width from salvage, from salvage to salvage. This is wrong side, and right orange. side. Yes. So oh here's, there's your actual colors. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah it's really really cute see why i was having a hard time you guys why it's like i can't cut these up without showing them to them first it's hard to find this much authentically vintage pushing antique fabric it really all in one place it really is it's for me it is Guess who By that's going to? Um, I'm going to say it's going to Canada. Yes, it is. Kind of thought maybe so. Okay, this fabric, I don't know what it's called. I, I just don't remember what this is called. There's a yard and a quarter of it, mm. and it says Margaret, which I really kind of love. <laughs> That's my and name. it is your name. <laughs> the I can get in there. Here's the right colors. It's like a I don't know. It's like slate gray met purple. Oh my gosh! Which, isn't that pretty? Do you see the weave of it though? Yeah. I feel like I want to say that it's cotton, but I'm not 100% certain, so we'll call it a blend. But it's just so cute. And my favorite color. I know. So there's a yard and a quarter of that one, so this one would be 12.50. 
How did I manage? There it goes. <laughs> Refold, please. Refold, please. There we go. Okay, that is sold. That is sold to Christina Hill. Nice. And it Thank went you, Christina, then Robin, then Linda, then Lenny, then sold. And then Lenny again. Oh, no, only one Lenny. It was that. Okay. Episode. This one has the original tag on it. There is a yard and a half of this, and this one is cotton. Look at all those little fruits. I can't decide if they're fruits or nuts or berries because these almost look like they're supposed to be cherries, but then... I don't know. Those don't, I, I don't know what's going on there for sure. These almost look like little grape like, You know, berries from a certain tree. You know, not be, like. Yeah, I don't know. But here's, here's the tag. Look at the original price. 87 cents, please. Wow. Or is it 80? Yeah, 87 cents. Yard and a half at 58 cents a yard. <laughs> Prices have gone up a smidge. And this is another narrow one. This is going to be the 35 inches also. Okay. From salvage to salvage. So this one will be 15. Got it. I'm glad I decided to do it this way. This is so much easier than trying to figure out each piece. Is this one gonna go in the cut pile? I guess that's still available. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So then there's, there's this one. And this is like, I don't know, I want to call it plums and cranberries maybe. This one I have to measure. Most of these I don't have measured yet. I've been cheating with the ones that are measured. So there's two yards. So this one's going to be two and a half yards of this. But I think this is the one that had, yes, something has bled. Can you see where it's like a little bit, the background is kind of pink right there. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. But it's definitely the, nope, it's not going to pick it up. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, the color has bled right there. And there's a. A decent size patch of it. I'm gonna say like like that as blood. And it's just a light, and it may come out when you wash it. I'm not sure. But I feel like there was another spot on this one. Hold on, let me double check it. Mm. Okay, so glancing at it quick, it looks like that's the only oh here it is. Nope. That was just the light. Nope. So it looks like it's just that one spot. <laughs> but even so, I'm going to do this one at two yards, Maggie. Okay. <clears throat> Let me redo that. Just in case there's another damaged spot on it that I missed. I wish that would show up. It's right there. That sold to Christina Hill. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Then there is, I'll just show you, and you guys tell me if you're still interested in fabrics or if we're ready to wrap up. I'll do a few, what time is it? Almost 10. I'll say for like another 15 or 20 minutes, then we'll do the giveaway. This is an eyelet. 
So yeah, all you ledger people, all the people that got ledgers, don't go anywhere. This is absolutely amazing. I love this. Oh, that's pretty. And there's flannels. There's a, oh my gosh, this thing is so, do you guys remember this stuff that they used to quilt with the foam? It has that yellowy foam stuff in the middle. Look. That's how old that stuff is. Wow. So it's, yeah, it's orange polka dots on one side and then this little green and orange print or berries. I guess that's supposed to be strawberries maybe. I don't know. That's really On the other side. Pretty. Yeah. I like it. I think it's cute. <clears throat> and just to show you how far down the entire retro trail rabbit hole I went, look at that. That's polyester. <laughs> That's retro. <laughs> well, wait, it gets better. <laughs> we have gone full tilt Brady Bunch. I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't even have a clue what I'm going to do. Green one, I don't I really, the green one I really like, but the, the other two, the colors. Right? Lorraine, oh, my gosh, I had a foam dress that I loved. I think and I had a pantsuit made from that, Lori said. <laughs> Jackie said, bell bottom, baby. But see, that's, I Robin can't. just said loud. <laughs> I know. Even though these are polyester, I couldn't. We all remember this stuff. It's like, I don't know. I just can't leave it because I know somebody's just going to throw it away. This actually is a double knit. This is double knit. This one. A mod dress with probably. white go-go boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everybody was awake, Took. I mean, come on. So then there's this, which I don't know. I still haven't totally committed to what I think this is. This is a like a white on white damask. But it there is damask so to me. trying to catch it's just there's so much sheen in that stripe that it's hard to catch although irish floor. linen is a lot of irish linen is like that too right and this but this doesn't have anything mm. to identify it like nothing i just don't know but there is so much detail on this like it's got a whole border print see like I can't decide if I want to sit down, stand up. There it is. See that whole border pattern in it? Because this is the salvage edge. So then there's your border. And then, where is it? There it is. Ah, so it'd almost be easier on the wrong side, I feel like. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, I'll fight with that one if anybody's interested in that piece. Yes. But there's that, a lot. They're asking if it's a tablecloth. Is that big enough to... <clears throat> I think it could be big enough to be a tablecloth. Um, because this is going to be a 60 inch, at least 60. Yes, 60 inches from salvage to salvage. And... Hang tight, I'm measuring. So there's two, and then it's two and a half long. So yes, this could definitely be a tablecloth. Ooh, there you now you can see. See how it's got the stripe in it, and it's just yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. 
So this one would be 25. We'll just do this one quick, this white one, since I've got okay. it out and unfolded. If anybody's okay. interested in this one, it would be 25. And it's it's nice. I mean, it's a heavy weight. You guys could probably hear it as I was moving it around. This would really be beautiful for a lot of home deck projects, actually. That's going to Linda. Hmm? That's going to Linda. Okie dokie. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So, anybody for the green polyester? We're going to do the green polyester at a yard by 60. Ugh. And there's wrong side, there's right side. And here she is up close. How much? 10. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Shauna. <clears throat> Ooh, it would be an elegant dress. You are right. <laughs> That's going to Jennifer Jane. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. I knew somebody was going to like it as much as I do. And then here's the red. And it's not a white background. It's like a red and white woven. So it almost is a little bit of a pinkish hue in person. And this one is going to be, let's see. There's a yard. And not quite a half. So we'll do this one as a yard and a quarter. So this one will be 1250. Okay. A little bit short of a yard and a half, so we'll just go the other way. But definitely polyester. Oh, that's going to JJ also. Nice. Jennifer, you had a project for these? If you do, I'm dying to know. Like, for real. So as long as we're on the polyester gig, we'll do this one. And then we'll get back to these other ones. This is the double knit. It is, And it, it literally is showing up, except this is all red. It almost has a little bit of a orangey hue to it, but it is all red in person. Like, the red, white, and blue flag red. And this one is literally just a yard, and it's going to be the 60 inches from salvage to salvage. So salvage to salvage is going to be the one he wants to know. Can we do one more round of ledgers? Um, possibly, possibly. I'm thinking about maybe coming on. Um once during the daytime this week that's one of the questions i wanted to ask you guys so if some of you want to do a daytime i could do that other round of ledgers in the daytime and we could because some you guys oh my gosh i'm stammering all over myself some of you have been asking me to try a daytime so because of time zones or some people get up at three in the morning so they're in bed already and things like that so I'm really considering trying it. Just have to pick a day. <laughs> That's going to JJ also. Nice. Did she say if she has a project? Uh, not yet. I want to know if she's just collecting it or if she's got a project. Kendall says Wednesday. I'm leaning toward Wednesday, Kendall, tell you the truth. Yeah, Christine, her her um, jar, her mouth is starting to hurt. So 
Yeah, it's That's really not. We're going to be calling it a night soon. Yeah. So. Whew. Okay. So we'll go with this one. And it is going to, oh, this one has the original tag on it also. Um, from Montgomery Ward. Who knew you could buy fabric by the yard at Montgomery Ward? Look at that. Huh. Yep, three-fourths of a yard. Although I think it's more than that, but they say it's three-fourths of a yard. So I'm going to go with, oh, I see why, because the end is all messed up. We'll go with three fourths of the yard. So this one would be um, seven fifty mags. Okay. And it's all um, like all that seventies earthy color stuff. That's really pretty. It's cool, right? Yeah. It wouldn't be when Susan's on live took. It would be like before or after or something. Yeah, I won't overlap her. No. Jennifer, what are you making? <laughs> <laughs> this one goes to her too? Yep. Okay. I just love that she wanted all the polyester stuff. It just makes, I almost, I almost didn't get it. I knew if it didn't go, I would hoard it. So it's like, I'm so glad somebody really wanted it. Makes me feel like I pay attention and I do know you guys. So this is the eyelet. And this one is going to be um, your 45 inches salvage to salvage. This is the end of the bolt where they, before they started the, the weaving pattern. So I'm just going to measure the actual eyelet. And it's going to be... Um, I'm going to do it as a half a yard, Maggie. Okay. Because it's like two thirds. So I'm just going to do it as a half. That's way too much math. So we'll just do it as a half. So this one will be five bucks. Keeping the math simple. Bell bottoms, curtains, journals, hats, boots, and stuff. Nice. Yay. <laughs> oh my God. I love that she's making bell bottoms. I think that's amazing. That goes to Kendall. Awesome. It went Kendall, Barbara, Kathy, Robin. Hi, Karen. Karen Thompson. Kendall again. Jack, <laughs> Christine, and then my sold. Nice. Thanks, Kendall. Okay, let me measure this one and then I'll show it to you. I think this one is two yards. And this is another one that's going to be your 45 um, salvage to salvage. Look at that. I love this. That's this is beautiful. another one, isn't it, that would almost go into the lawn fawn. Whatever, not lawn fawn. You guys know what I mean. Lawn cotton. I don't know where lawn fawn came from. Lawn cotton. Um, this is actually dated 1982 on the salvage. Just so you know, it's been around a hot minute. There is a um, dirt line along the fold right there. I don't know. Yes, it's kind of picking it up. But it's definitely there. You know, that I've been folded forever on a shelf thing is right there. Just so you know. Um, so now I'm going to pick it up so you can see. These are blue. They're definitely not purple. Everything is blue. Oh, that's pretty. It's funny because I thought looking at the, on your desk, it looks purple. Mm-hmm. But now I can see the blue. It's pretty. Isn't that pretty? The stripe is, I want to double check, is part of the screen print. So this, this white stripe, these white stripes, the narrow ones and the wide ones are part of the screen print. They're not woven in, just so you know. You so there's two yards. Yards. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, I'm really confident that um, this one should launder up really, really nice. I think this would be gorgeous curtains 
If you sew clothing, I think that would be an amazing summer skirt. Okay, that's sold. I just have to check to see who gets it. Christine East. Christine East. Okay. Then, let me see. I'm going to do one more, and then we're going to do um, the giveaways, and then we'll wrap up. Okay. Before so, you, um, before you do that, you know, the red, um, the red fabric. The polyester one? Yeah. Um, Jennifer Jane, uh, I guess Christina Hill wanted it. So Jennifer Jane said she would split it with her, but I just want to make sure. Are you talking about that one or the stripe one? But I think that's the one. I think that's probably the one. I forgot about that one. Okay. So let's just see. <laughs> that's via very. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. Um, is that two yards? This one, no, it was um, a yard and a quarter. So they would each get three quarters of a yard. Okay. This one, yes, that one. Okay. Okay. Split with Christina. You got it. Okay, so then there's this one. This is the last one. This one is one and a half yards. This came from Grants. I don't know. It was 75 cents for a yard and a half. There is still a straight pin in the tag right here. And it's like before plastic price tag thingies came out because this is metal this thing here is metal just so you know and it seems to have like attached itself probably a tiny breast dot there would be my guess <laughs> this says it's 50 poly 50 cotton oh and it's not folded itself. So i'm just double checking that it really is a year so what did that say? A yard and a half? It is so not a yard, yard and a half. It is so not. We're going to do it as a yard. Okay. Because the salvage, it's not folded salvage to salvage. It's running the wrong way. Okay. Um, and this is not as crazy bright as it's showing up in StreamYard. So I'm kind of waiting to see. And this scroll, scroll design back here, that is um, screen printed on also. I'm waiting for YouTube to make sure it's coming across accurately in colors because it's got like a, almost like a distressed look to it, like a washed. Yeah. Right there is probably the best reflection of what it really looks like. Up close, it's way too bright. So, yeah, we'll just do this one as a yard, please, Nikes. Okay. That's going to Robin. Awesome. I think it's Robin J. I think we established that. Okay. Okie dokie. So that's going to wrap up the fabric for tonight. But just, to, and I'm just going to tease you guys. I'm not doing any of this tonight. I'm just teasing. This is flannel. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. And this is huge. This is probably three yards. Then there's this one. This one is flannel. It is so soft. There's this one with little tiny yellowy rosebuds. 
Oops, that one. Just to be a total tease, you guys. That one. These are woven. Okay, so you retro girls, there you have it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. I love that. And this is a cotton. <clears throat> There's the flannel these. looks like what my mom made me for pajamas when I was little. Nice. <laughs> it is so crazy soft. It is not the flannel we get today for sure. There's this one that's flannel. And this, <laughs> when Beth was here, <laughs> she was like, oh my. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Whoa, that's bright. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. This is, a, this is thin and it's a polyester blend. Mm -hmm. It might be a poly ray. I don't know. I'm not certain. It almost has a crepey feel to it. It's just, it's thin. It's light weight. You know what I mean? But it's, I absolutely love this. Love this. Oh, they all love that one. I know, right? It's so boho. It is so insanely cool. I love it. Yeah. So we'll bring this one back and it'll be priced the same way. You know, um, like I said, some of, now you guys get why I wanted to bring them before I cut them up. I just felt like if somebody had a specific project they could make with them, I would just love for you guys. Cause these, like I said, to find yardage like this, it's not that easy. So then there's this one, and this is a home deck weight too. And this is another one that just, it looks like Vagabond to me, or like, um, oh, what am I thinking? Like, like Paisley oh, stuff. Paisley. Yeah, no. but like the guys on the railroad and stuff, you know, the, Carpet baggers, that's what I was thinking. Like Nick's carpet baggers and stuff, that's what this looks like to me. Like that kind of, like tapestries almost. So there's that one. And then, oh, this, I don't know, this, we'll see. This has a lot of texture. Oh yeah, you can see it, but it's definitely a polyester, like all yeah. polyester. But I was thinking that one might be fun to coffee dye. Then there's this, this is a home deck too. And this one has its original tags. There's two and a half yards of this. I don't think it's what did dated. That say? Did they name it or something? That's what I'm looking for. Pre-shrunk does not exceed something, something test. <clears throat> DuPont, Save-A-Lux, Fast Colors, and Zeppel Floridizer, pre-shrunk, but no date. I was really looking for a date on it, but I don't see a date. It's copyright, by the way, so don't, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do as you want. Do as you want. But yeah, I absolutely adore this. I think this is really, really pretty. Really pretty. And this is, um, again, like an upholstery home deck sort of weight. I don't know that I would upholster a sofa in this, but definitely like benches and casual chairs. So, so this is all yet to come. And there's a whole nother tub of it over there. I know, well, that's the idea, Christine. I gotta show you guys what's coming. Yeah, gotta know. It would look cool on a chair, right? And see, a lot of times those lighter weight fabrics, you guys, when I was upholstering chairs, I would use the lighter weight on the back and then use a totally different print for the seat because that way the wear and tear wasn't where the bum was, you know? Yeah, way before hoarding was cool. You're absolutely right, Lori. So yeah, there is so much fabric coming, you guys. You, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain how much fabric there is right now. It was definitely a honey hole, somewhere between a mother load and a honey hole. It was, it was a lot, a lot, a lot. So <clears throat> I'm going to do 
giveaway for anybody who got a ledger tonight. Um, this is um, a school register from 1882. And it's filled out from front to back. And it's pretty stinking cool. I think it's like 14 inches long. Let's see. It's going to be 13 or 14. Mm, I'm going to go with 13 and a half inch-ish. Um, seven, 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 seven and three quarters wide. And it's a thin one. But, you know, and the spine's a hot mess. If you really don't, you know, if it's not your thing, then just please don't get in the giveaway. But as long as you've got a ledger tonight... This is for those of you. And then I have one more giveaway. It's open for everybody. But this is just for people who got ledgers tonight. And let's do, um, how many is there? 50? Let's just do 1 through 70, Maggie. Because that one should cover 70? people who, yeah, that should cover people who got ledgers. If you didn't get a okay. ledger, don't. Don't panic. I have, a give, I have a giveaway that everybody's open to. Okay? So these are going to be the next giveaway, and these are open to anybody. Kendall doesn't remember. Did she get a ledger? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't go back through all those, silly girl. <laughs> I'm not going to remember everybody either, so. Just be honest, you guys. Just be honest. If you know you got a ledger, jump in the giveaway. If you're not sure... Or if you didn't, then just wait for the next one. We're just going to go on the honor system. Just going on the honor system. <coughs> I have been so fortunate lately, you guys, picking and people contacting me. Hey, are you still looking for? And I have. And oh, my gosh, there is so much cool stuff coming. You have no idea. And I'm not in a rush to get to it. I want to take my time so that I can present it to you guys really nicely. But there's some amazing stuff coming. All right. There's the Google. And I want random. Oops. I should probably spell it right. There we go. What did we do, Mags? One to 70? One to 70. Okay. You tell me when you're ready. I'm I'm set. All right, I'm just waiting to make sure everybody's in there. Okay. Well, hey, Deb. Hmm. I think I have another one, Lucy. Don't don't panic. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. All right, I'm going to put stop. Okay. All right, wait a minute. Did Jody get? Yeah, she did. Jody got a ledger. Okay. Yep. She yep. got two, actually. No, I remember I writing Jody. She put in a not, come on 42 after my stop, but I want to make oh. sure she did before. <laughs> okay. That's so weird. It shows after yours. It shows before on mine. Oh, no. Yeah, she's above, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I only see oh, it above, I see though. What see what you mean. Yeah, I see what yeah, you mean. Yeah, see the difference? See, that's why we use StreamYard, you yeah, guys. Yeah, she is. Yep, she's before my, my stop on StreamYard, yes. Yep. So, okay. Here we go. You guys ready? Yep. Okay. Okay. So if anybody got one, check, but I think you're going to have to do that again. Let's see if anybody got one. I don't know why my, everybody else's in the world goes high. Mine always goes to two or three. You ever notice that? Always. No, there's no one or two. Okay. So here we go again. 33. 33. Okay. Closest without to going over. I 
think I see it, but I'm going to wait for you. Yeah, is it 27? Yep. Yep, Sierra. Well done. Good job. Congrats, Sierra. Good job. All right, put that one up there. Um, I need to start doing this, though, because I've noticed when I'm in a rush, I look for a price. There we go. Okay, so these two. This is the officer's roll book, and it looks much like the one we just did for the kiddos, except this was officers for um, the Odd Fellows group. And what was the date on this one? 1908 is when that one started. Then this, I like the cover, honestly. I, I really like the cover. Yeah, and it's, cool. dated. yeah. And it's um, a little bit debossed. It's not handwritten, but there's a few handwritten notes. Um, there's a few really nice plates. I mean, should you want to make your own cabinet cards or what have you? Um, and then the paper is nice. It's just, you know, some nice text block paper. Um, I don't know. I just think the cover's cool, and I like some of the papers and stuff. But this is about the Odd Fellows, so, you know, there's that. But there is a lot of, kind of think of it as a scrapbook pad, I guess. So this one, we'll just do our normal one through 100 mags. First person will get the roll book. Second person will get this one. All right, and, and, and these, these are, are open to everybody. This is yes, everybody. these are open to anyone. Absolutely anyone. So these are going to be one to a hundred. So if there's multiple people with the same number, it's no big deal, it's you guys. Okay, right. And if we wind yep. up with four people, I'll pull. We'll just I'll just write you on the list, and you'll still get a prize. It'll all be good. No panicking. I got stuff. I guess I can close this now. Okay, everybody in there? I'll give it a few more seconds. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, the stop is in there. Okay, here we go. 89. 89. It's okay, Robin. We got two we got two prizes, so multiples of the same number is okay. Why, no yes, Miss Gigi. Okay, no 89. And let me just double check. I think I Okay. I know who. Yep, all good, Robin. Extra eyes are always good and always, always ask. Yeah. Don't ever just okay. wonder. Just ask us. 78, Nancy Vance. Okay. And I just see that they are agreeing with me. Yep. And then the second one? Oh. Would be, um, I know I saw 72. I'm pretty sure that would be the next one. Who was 72? Nope, 73, Shauna. M was seven. Okay. Let me just double, I'll double check, but I think 73 is the next one.
I can use a double. I could use a twin. That would be interesting. I don't know if you guys could handle it, but I would yeah, be okay Shauna. with it. Okay, Shauna, Shauna M. M. Shauna M. Congrats. S-H-A-W-N-A, -A, right? No. No. Well, oh, wait a minute. Let me. I That doesn't sound right, but you could be right. Um, where is she? S H A W N A. Is that what you said? Yep. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> That's okay. Again, sure. I would so, I would so much rather check now. Give away. Perfect. 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 Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Absolutely awesome. So let's I have to think a minute. I have to think how I want to say this out loud. So um Susan comes on at three o'clock my time Eastern. So I will try to come on for a couple hours before Susan. So maybe like noonish. Then I still don't have to fake being a morning girl. <laughs> um, yeah, noon, um, Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Does anybody want invoiced from anything tonight, tomorrow? Otherwise, I'm going to hold everything until next Tuesday. If anybody wants invoiced tomorrow for anything they got tonight, I need to know now. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's all just going to get sorted into your... Um, Baskets, probably Wednesday, Lenny. That's what I'm leaning toward is Wednesday. But I'll post in the group for sure. Yeah, we're going to try a daytime one. I will, Debbie. Okay, so everybody looks like they're okay with next week. Yeah, fine to hold. Yeah, I don't think anybody. Oh, yeah. Jody, I've got my note from you. Okay, cool. You guys are awesome. And look for Lisa's PM. Will do. All right. Yep, this week. Yep, two days. Not tomorrow, the next day. <laughs> So, all right. Good night, you guys. Thanks Good for coming night, on, everyone. Michelle. She unmuted. I don't know. If she's Good there. night, she's everybody. There she goes. Thank you very much, Maggie. Yep. All right. Cool. You, <laughs> you guys on, are cute. See you on Wednesday. Good night, John boy.